Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 homebrew. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Mm -hmm. One day late, but that's okay. We made it. <laughs> we oh. did. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Tanya was sick yesterday. I was sick, yeah. And we need her here. I know. And we need the cats here. And we need you here. Yes. So I'm glad that everybody made it today. Uh, thank you for coming and thank you for coming for the uh, Popeye 7800 yeah, debut. I'm that's very exciting. excited about this. Yeah. Along with Trench and Rally Racer, we're going to try and get that patch. Get that patch. And uh, Leandro Camara sent over some tips for oh, us to help us out. So okay. hopefully. Yep. They will help. Yes, good But stuff. I got really close last time. Yeah. Two points away. Yeah. Um, so we got those games to play today. And I want to thank everybody, all the Twitch subscribers who are helping the show out by mm -hmm. supporting it. Al Nefer, who just subscribed just before the show. Mm -hmm. Armscar Coder, Captain Man 2D, Captain Classic, Catalog, Charles and Chad, Coconut 81, Dianoid, Dan of EC, Drexel, Glenn Main, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Ogier Rapper 2600, Johnny WC 23, Ron Rorado, Urado, Carl G. Croco 2600, Mark Space Inc., MCP 90, Metal Atari 1969, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Packrat VG, Quahog 2600, RC 70, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweet, Smitty B7800, Socrates 0603, Spice or Esmer's 2008, The D Train 37, The Welshman 89, Thunk is Tiki Dan K, Teetfos, and Trek MD. And you could subscribe as well yep. by linking your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime. And it's free if you do that and click the things. And you'll get your name beside uh, Tanya on the uh, her right, your right, on the right. On the right. Make sure you follow and subscribe and click like on all the Twitch and YouTube and Facebook so you know of upcoming special shows like this where we have big debuts of awesome games. Um, so we've got a poll today for which Activision patch I should try next. Excellent. Um, because we it was voted Chopper Command that I did last time. Yes. It was absurdly easy. So we were, I, I was shocked. I got it. Yeah. I, I, shocking. That's shocking. So yeah. I uh, <laughs> thank you <laughs> for suggesting the super easy one. Um, so um, the ones today, let me uh, start the poll. Uh, make sure it's not going to pop up, actually. Last time it popped up immediately, which is not a terrible thing. Um, but I want to, like, reveal it later. Not immediately. Um, so... Let's start the poll. That's the one. Looks good. So you just type in one, two, three, four, or five. Uh, the choices are Dolphin, mm -hmm. Dragster, Grand Prix, number three, Pressure Cooker, number four, Plaque Attack, number five. Excellent. Um, the only one we've done out of those is Pressure Cooker. Tried to get it. Yeah, that's hard. pretty hard. Hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh yeah. my God. <laughs> so hard. Um, so currently my patch standings for Activision anyway. Activision, yeah. Uh is twenty out of forty seven. Ooh, that's so pretty good. You're getting halfway there. Halfway there. You're getting there. I've done a lot of the easy ones. Yeah. Um, S. Ramirez says Sequest is easy too. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've done Sequest, so oh, then, then it I was see. easy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just by random chance. I know there's a bunch of hard ones I have not tackled yet. Mm. But I'll get you're, through you're, them. You're 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 pushing them off yeah from here. yeah <laughs> so i've done a lot of the easy ones i don't think there's yeah. many easy ones left left yeah. uh thank you everybody for tuning in live on twitch captain classic pack rav vg miss command rc70 flackets s ramirez 2008 uh carl g dan avc al nefer uh andrew davy said he's in and out he's uh working on squashing a bug on the Ooh. plus cart oh <laughs> um which we're talking a little bit about in yeah. the news um who else daryl 1970 yeah. who made popeye which we're playing oh, tonight excellent excellent uh anybody else not right now we'll see as they filter in hero is not bad it's not uh, it's challenging i've tried hero I haven't got that one yet. Mm. Um, so mail, news, and feedback. We do have mail today. Let's open Yay, it up. Yay, mail. mail! I like. I like. So uh, this is not this homebrew, is... but it is video games. So you wanted to open it on camera? <laughs> Why not? It's a good excuse to open it on camera. So it says there's three in here. It's mm -hmm. from Limited Run Games. 
Always which are fun. doing a great service to the video game community by making available games digital that, games that are only in digital format. Only on digital format into um, disc format so you can play them forever. Yes. And not just after. And when the server set shut down, you can keep playing them. Otherwise, they're lost mm. forever. Um, so what did we get um, for the Switch? Vitamin connection. Nice. Do you know what I that is? I can't remember. <laughs> I, I watched the videos on these. I, uh, they go, hey, this is coming out. Limited run. I watched the video go, oh, that's right up my alley. Mm. Looks like it's a two-player co-op game. It says bacteria oh. busting, which makes me think it's some sort of... Um, yeah, you're teaming up. A Tetris style game, it's, but anyway. Pattern matching. Pattern matching. Remember. Gotcha. Uh, the Mighty Switch Force Collection. Um, looks like a bunch of mini mini games. Yep. Cool. Or no? Nope. Oh, platformers. It's a bunch of platformers, different versions. Mm -hmm. Um, like Doctor Mario. I'm not sure. Um, and Mystic Bell, which is a uh, Castlevania, Metroidvania type game. There you go. Mystic Bell. And they always include some cards and goodies. Nice. So um, so if you like kind of retro-ish games on modern consoles, they put out a lot of them. Mm -hmm. So I would suggest following them if you have modern consoles. Yeah. They like always show up at games. the uh, retro gaming expos too to sell yes. their games, I've noticed. They sell so. a bunch of extras there that they have yes. overstock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this one, I know what this one is. Um, this one is um, from Brad McFeegan, mm -hmm. and it uh, kind of uh, harkens back to the uh, Halloween episode. Oh, is it, it related not... to oh, the dinosaur? It is slightly related to that dinosaur. Mash, mash, mash. It didn't quite arrive on time. Oh. Uh, it arrived yesterday, I think, or on Monday. Do it, do it, do it. Mm -hmm. Hero. I will, eventually, because I haven't <laughs> been able to do it. I think you have to make it to, like, level 11 on Hero. Oh, it's packing peanuts! Yay! It's, oh, nope, the cats nope, will nope. be so excited. Yes, they will. Okay, let's try not to disturb the packing peanuts. It's Pumpkin Muncher on cartridge! <gasps> let's nice. open this up. So sure, start. yeah, show the, show the label. Yeah, it's too shiny. Yeah. Um, he got these printed at Atari Age, so it came from Atari Age, and it's got the Atari Age bag mm -hmm. and sticker on it. So I'll put this under the cat cam so everybody can take a look. And another bag of, massive bag of stickers. <laughs> I have so many of these Atari oh, H stickers yeah, now, yeah. like a lot of them. Um, and, Give them uh, out as presents at Christmas. There's the book that he sent yes. as well. It's uh, cute. Let me switch over to the webcam <laughs> so you guys can see it. There's the pumpkin muncher cartridge. So I got number three out of ten. Nice. Um, and there's the end label. Pumpkin Muncher. Very nice font. Very appropriate. Very fun font. Bye, Atari. There you go. Very nice. Very, very nice. Mm -hmm. Flackett says the dinosaur was orange, not violet, like Barney. <laughs> oh, like this, the, the, oh, the, they, yeah. Yeah, they, the color filter on. I think it turned everything purple and green. Oh. <laughs> Oh, no, in the game, wasn't it purple? Because I was commenting that it was like Barney. So he's actually is orange like the pumpkins. Uh, they need to update the game. <laughs> no, no, he wasn't. He. Oh, no, he was. Was he orange? I, I think he was purple. Now. I think he was purple. But like the actual stuffy was purple. Uh, in, and the guy is per is sorry is orange and yeah. the and the and in in the story so yeah I think yeah. with the filters the Halloween filters made he him was, look purple made yeah. him look a little bit purple um, Stella six point four the Atari twenty six hundred emulator yeah it was released on Monday with a bunch of very good updates very interesting updates um, notable changes in six point four just a couple of them um, Atari Vox support. You can now use the Atari Vox connected to a USB to serial via USB Y cable. Mm. So that means you can hook up the Atari Vox to your computer um, via um, USB to serial, which I do have one of those. Show you what that means. Oh, scare cat. So. 
So here is the USB to serial. Oh, that's not good. It's just as big as the, uh, there we go. So if you have one of these, and you can get them from 26adapter.com. Yeah, put it over there. Mm. And then you can hook up your Atari box and hook it up to your computer. Mm. Um, so you can save your high scores and also hear any voices uh, or voices, sounds because yeah. it also makes music very rudimentary oh, music as well nice. like yeah, tones yeah. and stuff um but mostly it's used for high score saving mm -hmm. and then secondarily the voices the voices yeah um so that's a great update mm -hmm. on it different label than my 26 and adapter yeah they probably updated that one's fairly new so you might if you have an old one mm. might be different um, fixed a bug with the aspect correction and full screen mode. Snap so shots from such a mode are now pix pixel exact. Um, that doesn't mean a lot to most people, but it's, it was a, um, something I requested um, mm. for, for Stella because I take screenshots of games okay. and make them into um, kind images, of or... images for the cartridges. I can't do it. I don't know. <laughs> um, images for the cartridges for, you know, preliminary things. You want me to see what he's doing? Yeah, and can you keep the door open? It's hot. Um, and before it was kind of half pixels so that it didn't look quite exact, but now it's perfect pixels. See? See in the bedroom? I don't know where he is. Ghost cats. But anyway, that's only useful for me and a few other people. Um, and the big, very cool update is if you have a Retron 77, because they make a build for the Retron 77 in as well. And I'm going to show you what how this works. Um, the Retron 77 has a cartridge slot. And you can play cartridges. Mm -hmm. Simpler cartridges, not the ones not with... Not all of them. Not, not, not ones with extra... Chips. you know chips in them mm. that make them faster so some of the homebrew doesn't work some mm -hmm. of it does most of the old school games original do. run of games works um so what it can do is dump the game from the cartridge onto the sd card mm. of any game it can read oh. so because i was reading about somebody who was trying to dump a cartridge and he bought this adapter mm. that was specially made for dumping cartridges so now you don't need that anymore you can just use the retron 77 really? if you have it yeah oh, cool so i'm gonna actually show you how it's done right now because i've updated my retron 77 um so you can take a look at that one second someone just... was asking is retron 77 paddle capable uh i always forget but i'm pretty sure it is yeah Ooh, we better look it up. We haven't tried it, obviously. <laughs> I don't think I've tried a paddle game on there. Yeah. I keep seeing people asking, and then I forget the answer. <laughs> um, okay, so what I am going to do... Okay, is show you the instructions on how to do it. Because you have to make a text file first. Um, so here is the instructions for it. Uh, let's bring that over here. Full. Boom. Boom. Okay. Dumping ROMs to SD card. Uh, the cartridge slot on the Retron 77, in fact, is a ROM dumper. When you insert a cartridge into the slot, the R77 dumps the ROM onto the cartridge, then runs it in Stella. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so it, that's how it plays the game. Because Retron 77 is an emulator. Mm. It's an emulator in a box. And more specifically, it's Stella running on a computer in a box um and they've been able to keep it updated to the new estella which is amazing otherwise it would be a terrible box because out of the when you first get it it is an ancient version of stella oh, which just does not work. work very well at all um in order to keep the dumped rom because it erases it every time mm. uh, this firmware can be configured to store the dumped rom on the sd card Dumping the cartridge ROM to the SD card is enabled by creating a file called SYS, which is the directory you put it under, mm -hmm. and the file is called settings uh, on the SD card with the content dump to SD equals Y. 
and it's just a text file. You can mm -hmm. just make a text file, make it on your computer, put the put SD card. Mm -hmm. So I've already done that. I'm not going to show you how to do it, make a text file. You guys know how to do that. Um, and then after inserting the cartridge, wait till Stella starts up and plays the game. Now switch off the console and put the, put the SD card into a card reader on your computer. The dumped ROM is called ROM dump dot bin and can be found in the root directory of the SD card. So right now there's no file on the Retron 77. Okay. That, that ROM dump doesn't exist. So I am going to dump uh, Ghost Manor, which we played last episode, mm -hmm. onto the Retron 77 and then demonstrate that it, it <laughs> actually does work. Cool. Uh, so I think <laughs> should power on just fine someone wants you to try out the paddles <laughs> after oh okay well, <laughs> it's a bit out of the scope of what we're doing today mm -hmm. but uh, uh oh yeah i can't hear it how come we can't see it either what the on the retro yeah Let's see. Oh, that's why. Everybody's loving that noise, I bet. Things don't always work. It it's look. not the best cartridge reader. Sometimes you have to give it a couple tries. There we go. Can it, can it dump that Brazilian 64 education cart unless it recognizes banks? I don't know what it's able to recognize. Uh, it is able to recognize certain bank switching schemes, so yeah. you'll have to look it up. There's documentation. Okay, so Ghost Manor loaded. Yeah. That's what you want. Um, so let's um, turn that noisy game off. Pop out the SD card. Okay, and then put it into your computer. And check it out on your computer. Let's just see if I can show this to you guys without showing anything else that I don't want to show you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need that remote control. Why is it over there? Is that all nice? No, not that. I wonder if I can get rid of that. View. Oh, the folders? navigation pen. Yeah, the there. folders. I don't want to see that. You can. Oh. Yeah. yeah. You can. You can hide the pane. Uh, where? Navigation there? pane preview details. Can't you? Oh. There you go. There we go. That should be fine. Okay. Mm. Screen capture. Okay, so there you can see uh, ROM dump. I wonder if I can make this bigger. Nope. <laughs> nope. ROM dump, and it says 8K, which mm -hmm. I'm going to assume that is the full game, 8K. Mm -hmm. um, and then I am going to just double click on it because it's already associated. You can see it's associated with Stella. There you go. It's running in Stella 6.4, and it says 8K. Mm. And so you've got the game. So any game that you don't, that you own, that you just want to keep a copy of, that you want to get a perfect dump of it, like you could, if you have a prototype or some rare game yeah. that nobody else has or you can't find a copy of, which is very unlikely, but yeah. somebody was in the forums and has one that nobody has a copy of, really, and, and they were trying to dump it. Oh. So this is a perfect case, you know, use case scenario. That's very cool. And, uh, that makes it very easy. Very, very easy, but you can only dump games. That's probably blasting people's ears. There we go. Sorry, probably couldn't hear me. But you can only dump games that it plays. Mm. So, there you go. Anyway, we don't want to play that game right now. <laughs> so I thought I would show that off because it was just really, really, really cool.
Um, got it. Uh, Nutty03 says, got a plus card. Hoping to get it connected soon. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, guessing Retro only dumps known bank switching formats, so it couldn't dump that new Andrew Davy format that was newly created and only recently added to Stella. If it can run it on Retro on 77, it can dump it. Okay. Um, and I believe it can only dump what it can see. Yes. So if there's very special formats that mm. don't work, and then, it, then it then won't it, dump. Then either. it won't mm. dump, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, the next, uh, I was going to dump chopper command, but it wasn't loading. So mm -hmm. that one worked. Yep. The plus cart high score club. Cause people are talking about the plus cart. Excellent. Um, there've been a whole bunch of new games added mm -hmm. and what these are, are games that you can play if you have the plus cart on your computer, on your, uh, Atari. And when you get a score, it automatically registers your score on the high scores. Nice. And we're going to take a look at all the games that have been converted for that and there's one being added like every second day it is awesome and they've made a really nice screen for them now maybe i can make that a little bit smaller yeah so here you can nice. see them mm. asteroids make a bit bigger because there's some text we want to see Asteroids, River Raid, Pac-Man 8K, Sadistroids, mm. uh, Amoeba Jump, Hero Pitfall, Barnstorming, Astro Blast, Turmoil, Cave 1K, Demon Attack, Jawbreaker, Tapper, Cosmic Arc, Dragonfire, Crackpots, Kaboom, Circus Tari, Sequest, Enduro, and Stampede. Nice. And you can see here, it's the cover mm -hmm. of the box. Shows you how many scores people have put in huh, and how many players have made those played. scores. yeah. And I'm guessing that's the latest score submitted. And then when you click on it, you can see that Zero Page Homebrew has the highest score. <laughs> Not a super high score, but is the highest score so far. I just randomly chose Just it. randomly picked that one, eh? <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. only one with five. <laughs> yeah. The lowest number of it people will playing be. it. It will be bumped off. Yeah. The latest score. Yeah, and uh, Omega Matrix, the person is in second place, um, is the person converting all these games because it has to be uh, nice. a, a little piece of code inserted oh, okay. into the game. So they have to be hacked a little bit. Oh, I see. Omega okay. Matrix is like one of the kings of hacks. Yeah. Um, and he's able to put that little piece of code so it talks back. And it transmits it transmit the score. Oh, the score cool. back to the scoreboard. Nice. And and you can see I used, played it on an emulator. <laughs> but if I was playing it on the actual console, which I yeah. haven't done much, it would be your my proper name. Mm. Like Zero Page Homebrew across there. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So you can see who played it on an emulator. Nice. It also shows it shows a score, the game variation. Mm. So if you're playing on a different variation, you can sort it by that, which there's only one right now. Actually, somebody was talking about um, asteroids, so the let's there. take a oh, look back yeah. at that one, and I think Quite we'll be able to there. look at the score variations. Maybe uh, not. They all look the same. Let's see. Oh, I see. Oh, no. Oh, one as slow. They're all the same, though. I thought... Hmm. Well, maybe that's the your best option for getting a high score. Yeah. Which would be my, my yeah. suspicion. Oh, here it is. Here it is, over on the side. Oh. That's good, because then you can oh. you only need to see those. Nice. So people have played score variation 1, 2, 15, and 16. And S. Ramirez, before the show, was talking about his nice <laughs> high, sco high score in 15, yeah. but he was trying to bump thrust 26. He's very close. <laughs> very close. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at their neck and neck. Yeah. So they're all accessible from the top there. Um, and then you can play it online from that link right wow. there and you can go back to the main page from here nice. and you can also sort it by most recent scores number of scores amoeba jump is the most played it is it is such a fast playing game that you just That's keep probably plowing why. through it what's the I, high score on amoeba jump oh i bet it's oh it's not that high I'll so refer. it's still possible nice yeah, 18,693. If I tried really you probably, hard, yeah, I could you've, probably you've, do well. You've probably beaten that at some point. Uh, oof, maybe. 18,000? Uh, yeah, I have, probably I made think you 20. Have. I can't I, I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, that's back. really fun. Yeah. Uh, fun I addition, like and there's lots of games to play. So mm -hmm. if you have a uh, plus cart, 
Definitely. Definitely. Do Check it, it out. Um, 21 games in the list right now. Um, Asteroids Attack by Game Select. We played that. Um, it was the one where you go to different planets and different variations and shoot ships we played it a while back anyway it's being it's completed and it'll be on sale in a week or two from game select a uh, special launch version will be available with only 30 copies the cartridge case will be red mm -hmm. so a special edition if you're in early on uh, all the items in the box will be numbered and the game with an animated title screen so you, you can Ooh. get a special title Ooh, screen very so nice not just the cart yeah very nice um so you want to check out atari game select uh game selects facebook page for more announcements for that okay. um and some news on millie and molly mm. uh mk smith posted on monday it'll be available for purchase in the atari age store next year nice. that's an atari 7800 game nice and will include a box and instructions not sure of the official date just mm. yet um so not easy to roll variations 15 and 16. That's probably why people play those. So it's mm. so you actually can register a score. But it is now time for Popeye 7800. Um, this is an exclusive work in progress update. This game is made by Daryl Gienther. I hope I'm just pronouncing that right. Gienther? Gunther? Gunther? Forget the Gunther. Daryl Gunther. Daryl 1970, as he's known. On the Atari Age forums, he's first posted about this. August 23rd, 2020. We did play mm. that version, the early version, where it was just a demo. <laughs> no, he says. No, that's not how you Ginther. say it. Ginther. Ginther. Okay, there we U -N go. U-N makes an I. Ginther. Mm. Ginther. Now I know, and I'll promptly forget it. <laughs> Sorry. It's just how my brain works. <laughs> I'll have to say it a lot of times. Um, so I'll try and say it a lot of times. So he originally posted this game. Oh, let's get out of this mode. Get down the lens flare. Um, he originally posted this game as a one level demo. Okay. Um, back around August saying, Hey, it's just a one level demo just to learn. I know, I remember on. we played that, didn't yep. we? Yeah, yeah, uh, I remember that. I'm not going to make the full game. This is all you get. Yeah. Um, and then we played it on the show, and people were just losing their minds. Yeah, <laughs> it was really, really good. <laughs> it yeah. was incredible, and he continued on with the game. Oh, nice. And now he's made the full game. The full game. Full game. That's Everything's awesome. there. Wow. And it is brilliant. Yeah. And we have the full game today. Um, and so this is the exclusive world premiere of it. So I'm really excited because this awesome. is a really fun game. It's 144K other games he's made. Cybermorph, Unicycle, Balloon Kicker, uh, and a ton of hacks of 8-bit, 5200, and mm. 2600 games. Um, right now you can download the original demo. And this version of it, a demo version of this version, will be available um, soon. He said he was going to post it after the show so nice either tonight or tomorrow he's gonna post a he's demo. gonna post a what's demo more version. in the new demo version or uh, levels all the levels okay <laughs> um he is limiting the demo version of yes, course of course yeah um two lives you get oh i see not okay the extra lives okay um he's limiting this is what he thinks he's gonna limit it to okay. he may change his he mind. may change it okay uh, he's limiting the selection to expert mode good luck oh my god <laughs> It's expert a hard mode enough is, game on a, like yeah, on easy art, mode. Yeah, uh, it's hard. Expert mode is brutal. Uh, player cannot earn the extra life at forty thousand. Oh, so wow. this will give you a lot of practice. Yeah. Um, and player cannot unlock debug mode. So I'm not sure what that means. Mm. It may be in the information he sent me. So hold on on that. But first, we're going to take a look at what Popeye in the arcade looks like. Mm -hmm. So everybody's refreshed and no what he is working from as a port. He says, I changed it to arcade mode with one life. Oh, okay. Arcade mode is hard. Yeah. It's not brutal like expert <laughs> mode. Um, that's good. Like one yeah. life is enough to give you yeah. a very good a idea. Test, a test of it, yeah. yeah. Cool. So if you're really good, you'll cool. keep playing. Um, so here is the arcade, which I've not played a lot of the arcade. Mm. I played a lot of the game on the Commodore 64, because that's what I had it on. And um, I think the C64 version is quite good. It's, uh, as you'll see in a second. Um, but first, we're going to take a look at this one. 
Is it a N Nintendo version? Uh, there is a NES version. I thought it said on the bottom this was the NES version. Oh no, that was something else. Okay. Oh, it's it's by, by Nintendo. They made there the you arcade go. Okay, that makes sense. That then. must have been what you. Saw. Yeah, I saw Nintendo. I thought NES. So. Oh, get out of here! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's making the camera flare from mm. the white on my screen. Uh, let's make sure this doesn't blow your eardrums. Okay. So this is the arcade version. And this should go... Yeah, they're going to play the game. Nice. So, uh, Popeye is a 1982 arcade platformer game developed and released by Nintendo based on the comic strip of the same name, uh, created by E.C. Seeger and licensed from King Feature Syndicate strips and animated shorts. Um, unlike most platform games, the player cannot jump. The only, the only button is punch. Mm. Um, so great for 2600 and Commodore 64 that only had one button. Uh, the game is licensed by Atari, was licensed by Atari for exclusive release in the UK and Ireland. Um, Popeye character was originally going to be used in the game that later became Donkey Kong. Mm. So there's lots of videos about people talking about what if they were able to relicense uh, the Popeye character for Donkey Kong, mm. which they were not able to. Because Popeye could have been become the mascot of Nintendo instead of Mario, because that was also almost, almost Popeye was almost there. in Donkey Kong. Wow! So people always can you know conjecture about what would have happened, right? Um, the game was ported to the TRS-80 Color Computer 2, Commodore 64, TI-99 4A, Atari 8-bit, in television, Atari 2600, Atari 5200, and ColecoVision. And one of the few games ported to the Odyssey, Odyssey 2. Um, blah, 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 etc., etc. Um, July 1983, Popeye was one of the three launch titles for the Famicom, along with Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. Um, so that's the first level. This is the second level. We're just going to skip through. Second level, he's in an apartment building. He was in video games. Now he sells vitamins, chicken, and spinach. spinach. Yeah, he feels bad, yeah. man. <laughs> Um, so this is a, we'll run through how these levels play later. Uh, here is the third level of the game where mm, he's on the ship. On the ship. Yep. Yep. And there's vultures and water and stairs and a moving little platform. And you're always collecting things that olive oil is sending down. Mm. And this one she's sending down help. Um, okay. So you've seen enough of that. Um, <laughs> I'm entranced. <laughs> yeah, it is great. Mm -hmm. um, there's also, I want to show you quickly the different variations so you can see what it looked like on all the different computers. Okay. Um, there's an awesome uh, YouTube channel called Let's Compare. Um, and if you have not seen it, what they do is they compare the arcade with all the ports. Oh, on yeah. All the systems. Yeah. Um, we're not going to watch 22 minutes of it. We're going <laughs> to skip around a bit. Um, but he's fairly comprehensive and sometimes does updates. Nice. Um, he has not put out one in a long time. Um, so I don't know if he's like, I've done all the arcade games. <laughs> he's done as, as wanna... much as he wants to do. Yeah. Right so this one compares our arcade Odyssey 2 Apple II Atari 2600, which is actually a fairly decent version. In, tele in television... Atari 5200, Commodore 64, Coleco, TI 99, Amiga, NES, Java Mobile, Game & Watch, ZX Spectrum, unreleased prototype. Oh. So if he does an update, mm. you have to include this new version, mm. 7800. So we've seen the arcade. Here's the uh, Odyssey 2 version. Oof. Odyssey 2 was a very early console. <laughs> um, so they did their best. <laughs> Looks like those are divided by signs that they've repurposed. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that's so funny. Wow, that's a little rudimentary. Yeah. Here's that, the Apple II. That's looking a little bit more um, Popeye-esque. Yeah. He at least has a pipe. Oh, and there's knives coming at you instead knives. of bottles. Oh. Can't punch uh, those. No. Well, yeah, yeah, I guess you do. Um, here's the 2600 version, looking a bit more like Popeye. Mm. A little bit more like olive oil. There's the, there's the bottles coming from the side, little hearts. Uh, in television, he usually does them in order of abilities of mm. the console or the year it was released. Which yeah, is that makes sense. Pretty much similar. Hearts are more like hearts in the television. Yeah. Fifty-two hundred 
getting more recognizable with yep. multicolored uh, sprites here. The bottles are bottle-ish now. <laughs> uh, C64, which I played the hell out of. Getting a little bit more decent, detail. Yeah. Um, it's decent. Bluto's looking a bit chunky. Yeah. The yeah. witch on the side is looking pretty good. Yeah. It plays a little slow on the C64. Yeah. It makes it pretty easy. Here's the ColecoVision. Very similar to the C64. Very actually. similar. Yeah. Different colors, but a little bit more detail in Bluto slash Brutus. Mm. Attack of the Jolly Green Giant. Yeah. Uh, TI 99. Skin color's a bit better on Popeye now. Mm -hmm. He's a bit gray and sickly looking. Oh, got hit by a bottle. Yeah, Amiga, very competent. Uh... Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, that's nice, yeah. Oh, Popeye's green because he's eating his spinach. Let's get back to normal color. He's got a. He's got an anchor he's carrying. That's oh, wow. really weird. <gasps> oh, he did die. Oh! So they've taken dramatic. some liberties in yeah. this one. Oh, olive oil looks very sad up there. Some very oh, sad, hilarious. very tired. The NES version's quite good. Yeah. Um, they did a great job on this, converting over the, the look and feel of the arcade. Um, and then, you know, much later, JavaScript, they took a lot of liberties here in upgrading the uh, look of that. The look of it, yeah. Um, Game & Watch, which is nothing to do with the arcade version. No, just, just the, just the figures. Just somebody to throw in, I guess. Yeah, just the figures of the characters. Yeah, I, I don't have this Game & Watch. Mm -hmm. I doubt I'd buy it. it it's a bit simplistic. It, a little, it does look simplistic. It's like you have to catch, catch, it. catch bottles and First not be the, punched. But it, oh, you have, on, on the side? Ah, yeah. you have to go over left, to the side. Left, middle, right. But, but on the right-hand side, you can get punched. Mm. So you have to quickly get the bottle. And a prototype for the ZX Spectrum. And it is mm. pronounced ZX because it's a British <laughs> You British like to computer. emphasize that every single time. Because it's a British computer, and that's how they pronounce it. <laughs> it's a Z. You have to say ZX. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's it for that. Um, so let's move on to the actual game Yay, for the 7800. 7800. I'm very, very excited. So for this. there was no 7800 in that list. No, and I and I think there wasn't. It was right on the edge of probably being able to be released mm. because the 2600 got uh, a port. So there's no licensing issues for Atari. They got the license to make mm. it. Um, the initial run of games for the 7800 was ma were made in uh, 1984. Okay when the 7800 was originally going to be released. It eventually got released in 86 because of various changeovers of into different hands of who owned uh, Atari at the time. So everything was delayed till 86. All these two-year-old games were released with the console. Oh, okay. So they got old arcade titles. Um, why is this playing? Why did I let it run? Anyway. Um, <laughs> Um, so, if this if this port was released at the time, I think it would have been a system seller. It's yeah. such a good a good version. A of good it. version. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this one I'm talking about, not whatever they could have made back then. Oh yes. Who knows how it would have come out? But mm -hmm. I don't think it would have come out as good as this. No. Um, um, so he just sent me this version a couple hours ago, mm. brand new, and it's got some great upgrades to it um he said he didn't think he'd have the space to fit it in but now that it displays the score for items when you get the items oh, before nice. it didn't mm -hmm. i mean it won't make any difference to you out there because you haven't seen the older version i guess you've seen the demo so it didn't have that so let's close all this stuff down uh not that key close all these Sorry for my yawning. Yeah. My head's a little uh, out of sorts. Yep. Okay, so let's get you the joystick. Oh, the big one. <laughs> the big one. Oh. Sorry, we're playing this on emulator until there's an SD card cartridge available for the 7800. This, like, this, this, this <laughs> has weight. This is like 20 pounds, this thing. So there's a brick in it. It's for intense playing. So I you know, so it doesn't slide it around. Side. Like literally... There's weight in there. I should be doing purpose. squats with it at the same time yeah. to kind of, you know, work on my work on my quad. Okay, everybody, are you ready? Mm-hmm. 
Let me just turn it up a little bit so we can watch. It is a macho joystick. <laughs> it's too macho for me. It is huge. Okay, how can I do this? It's not conducive to crossing legs either. I need one of those little TV trays, you know, like oh, breakfast in bed trays that I that I can put it put it on. The yeah. gaming is more important than your legs falling asleep. Hundred <laughs> percent agree. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Yeah. Oh wait. Boom. What's going boom. on? What's going there on? There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna start it from the beginning. Just ignore the screen you see. Okay. That's the only way I could do it. Oh, I'm sorry for my yawn. <sighs> Pardon me. Uh, So that's an intro nobody's seen before. Don't touch anything. <laughs> Don't touch anything. Um, yeah, we won't touch anything just yet. It was on one. So he blows his uh, little pipe there. Yep. So this is the 1.7 beta release. Nice. Programming and graphics, Daryl Ginther. Daryl Ginther. <laughs> Program consultants, Rev Engine, MK Smith. Music programming composed by Asintha Palooza, MK Smith, Prep. Was fast, too fast. <laughs> and then it plays a little demo nice. of the game. Oh, it uh, looks good. Oh, yeah. Great graphics. He's done an amazing job of scaling down everything mm -hmm. to the abilities of the 7800. Um, looking great so far, Pacra VG says. Yep. Yeah. Demo, too. Yep. Yeah. And he only recently added in the screen shake. Oh, nice. As well. Yeah, that's that's classic. That is. You can see the Atari Age logo. Yeah. Which is, hmm, wonder why the Atari Age logo is in there. <laughs> Could it be of things coming? Okay, nice. so you can have one or two players. Okay. I'm going to just turn it down just a little bit. Is the one, is the two player alternating? Or are you both um, on the That's screen? a good question. I don't have that set up. Oh, okay. It's That's alternating. Fine. It's not on the same screen. Yeah, yeah. I, Unless he's I changed it completely. Um, so there's three different levels, levels of yeah. play. There's novice, mm -hmm. arcade, and expert. Excellent. I highly suggest starting on novice. I, I am. I don't know this game all that well. So, yeah, that's fair. And let's just see the credits again so I can read them out. Uh, music Pro and Composed, Pat Brady, and Trebor. Early Music and Consulting by Playsoft. 2020, Daryl Ginther. I said that nice. because I want to memorize Ginther. <laughs> okay. I have to wait for this a little bit. Then you can press the button. Once the demo starts, to get back. He's still got this in, where it plays the intro every time. So make sure it's on novice one player. Not arcade. <laughs> okay. So, on this level, you have to catch all the hearts. Did you press button? What? Oh, you. you st I didn't want I you to start it. press anything. I thought you wanted me to start it. Uh, no, because you wanted you to it to play out the full thing. Anyway, that's okay. Oh, so, this the music you meant. Yes. Oh, we can. We we'll can do that next that. time. Yeah, we can. Oh. So you want to catch all the hearts? Yeah. Um, is is it Bluto or Brutus in this game? Because I want to name him correctly. He will reach down. Oh. He can reach up. And reach, and reach down, down yeah. so you have to stay away. I was um, focusing a little bit too much on the uh, the old woman at the side. Yeah, this is novice, Brutus. <sighs> okay, and the witches will throw bottles from the side. Yes. So let me read out um, how to play this game, um, so that we all know what is going on in this game. Uh, I have to get all of them, right? Yes. And there are six by four, 24 hearts. And we also have uh, an interview oh, by Daryl Ginther as well. Oops. Doesn't wrap around. <laughs> uh, the throughs do. Which ones? At the top. Oh, where the signs are. just at the top. Okay. Yeah. Where are my notes? What the hell? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Popeye Arcade Strategy Guide. 
It's based on the arcade. It's Brutus. Yeah. Watch out Don't for those move. bottles. You have to. You have to punch. You can't move and punch. You kind of have to stop. Uh, okay. Story. It's a classic Popeye story. Olive oil is the love of Popeye's life. Aww. But Brutus has other plans in mind. Prove your love to Olive by capturing her hearts, listening to her musical notes, and hearing her cries for help Aww. as you avoid Brutus through three stages. Turn the tables on Brutus every once in a while in, in, uh, by grabbing that can of spinach. But beware of the wicked sea hag. So that's the enemy on the sides. I don't think the sea hag comes at the top there. But she does no. come on that level. Yeah. So if you stay on a level too long, she will come there. And she kind of flashes in, so you be prepared to run away or punch the bottles. Um, due to an incorrect belief that Paramount Pictures owns the rights to Bluto name, the character was named Brutus for the cartoon series after 1957, and it wasn't changed back to Bluto till 1978. That's not relevant to the video game. Um, so the characters in the story are Popeye, Olive Oil, Brutus, and Sea Hag, and Bernard, which is the flying um, uh, bird on the third level. Ah. So Brutus. Brutus will do everything in his power to stop Popeye from succeeding. Uh, he will try to catch him, and whenever Popeye is in a level adjacent to him, he will jump up and punch Popeye from underneath or reach down and try to grab Popeye from above. On occasion, he'll even stop and throw bottles at Popeye, which Popeye must either punch to avoid... Oh, I don't have the graphic hook. Yay! I don't... Oh, this is music, right? There you go. Yeah, you have to catch the musical notes. Oh, my goodness, they move fast. Yeah. This, this level is actually pretty fast because the notes come down really fast. Okay, so you can jump on... That little springboard on the left. Punch, oh, Ooh, punch down, the spinach down. or get out of the way. Okay, go up. Now f oh, wait for the bottles. Fast. Then go to the left and fall down. Wait for the bottles? There? There you go. Oh. And if Sweet Pea, which is not mentioned in here actually, um, is down enough, you can grab on to him? Her? Him? What? Sweet Pea's a him. Isn't Sweet Pea him? I think so. Um, if he's not down enough, okay, the bird's gonna come get you. Okay. So you, you can punch the bird. Never heard of Bernard and Popeye. Oh, that was quick. Fell on him. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, there's a little platform that goes back and forth. So you can just hop on it when it's there. So catch the H-E-L-P. There you go. So that's how that works. Um, oh. Brutus can only be punished for, for his misdeeds when Popeye eats some spinach, at which time Brutus will run from Popeye in fear for 10 seconds. The sea hag will start by appearing on one side of the screen and throwing a bottle from time to time. As time progresses, she will begin to appear on both sides of the screen simultaneously, each throwing a bottle at you. Yeah, you did it. Uh, in higher levels, she will throw bouncing skulls at you, cool. which can also drop from level to another, attempting to hit you from above, which you can punch you as well. The sea hag herself poses actual no th direct threat, but you must be mindful of all the projectiles she throws on the screen. Oh, yeah. so you can't actually get hurt by her directly. Not by her directly. Only the bottles. No, ah! you can't punch him. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you can't punch him. Punching the wrong way. Well, you got one guy left. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't turn fast enough. Bernard. Bernard represents a mild but ever-present threat in the third stage. Mm. Uh, he constantly swoops down from the upper left corner of the screen and crosses along various levels of the ship, uh, flying out through the upper right corner. He is some, somewhat slow and can be punched in... Go for it again. It does seem like Popeye is moving way too fast left to right. Uh, he moves pretty fast in the arcade version. The graphics are amazing in this one. Yeah, I would say they're probably the best out of all the graphics in all the conversions. The NES is really good with the colors, but um, I would say this one's probably the best out of all of them. 
Um, let's see. Uh, I guess. Oh! Check down oh, on no. you. So, controls. Joystick move, controls Popeye's movement. Pressing left or right makes Popeye run, while punch pu pushing up or down makes Popeye climb or descend ladders or stairs. Uh, punch. Pushing the button makes Popeye punch in the direction he is facing. Uh, Popeye can punch the glass bottles or bouncing skulls that are thrown in him by Brutus and the Sea Hag, but careful timing is necessary. I find punching just a little bit early because he keeps his arm out a little bit longer than you think. Yeah, you don't want to punch too late with the bottles. Yep. Um... Oh, we're going to to keep track of your score. Popeye is sped up in the novice mode. Oh, that's why it's so fast. Makes it a little easier, I guess, to, yeah. to get away from... Uh... Brutus. Oh, I was trying to go down there. Okay, so let's get into the interview a little bit. With Daryl Ginther. So I asked him about his history of programming. Uh, I was introduced to an Atari 800 when I was in 5th or 6th grade. Just, uh, if you can still play while I do this. Yeah. Uh, schools didn't have computers at the time, uh, but my elementary school principal was a little ahead of the curve. I really saw the computer as a way to play the best home version of Pac-Man I've ever seen. We didn't have the money for something like that, though. I was in awe of the monster's logic. Since they had eyes, I thought that they could actually see my Pac-Man. On some level, I projected <laughs> real-world elements to these sprites. I kind of thought the spinning eyes were why the 2600 ghosts were so dumb. <laughs> Later, Mom and Dad signed Oops. me up for a class in basic programming. Uh, it was taught on a Commodore 64. Nice. That's what we were both brought up on. <laughs> Commodore 64 as well. Yes. Uh, it was held at a local photo developing store of all places. There weren't any other kids my age. Play the arcade version now. Okay. Yeah. A little bit harder? <laughs> yes. Uh, significantly harder. Yeah. From, from basic, yeah. Uh, there weren't any other kids my age in the area who understood computers. I wasn't very advanced, but what I did know seemed natural to me. I think the music's a bit high. What's Can't move, on? sorry. Did you unplug me? Go. It, when you take focus away from it, it just stops. Yeah, it stops. Unfortunately. It's probably so you can't affect other programs mm -hmm. while using the joystick, which is a very good move. Um, I started to see how things could be poked to the screen. Poke and peek on the... Commodore 64. Mm -hmm. I realized it was all mathematical coordinates. The light bulb came on, and I made some sluggish games in basic. Yep, so did I. Uh, very slow language on the C64. But it gets the job done for simple stuff. I later took another workshop on Atari graphics. I learned to re refine character sets, use player missile graphics, and set up display lists. So I still only knew basic, so nothing I made was playable. We could only afford a VIC-20 computer, so I couldn't really make great games. I had to squeeze as much as I could out of the 3K of usable RAM. I usually used character graphics for the games. That's a really good way of uh, repurposing, especially the pets, oh. the pet ski graphics. Down on me. Um, because it had lots of little symbols, like it had a little horse symbol. Do you remember that on the C64? Oh, This little horse symbol. You, were, you distracted me. He just killed me. <laughs> Don't look at me. The horse symbols on the C64? Yeah, it had a little horse symbol. You can make little horse games. It had lots of really that. good lines oh, and curves. Yeah. It was very simplistic horse symbol. It's not even supposed to be a horse. It's probably supposed to be pie or something. Get him! See, you had 3,000 points. It's showing the points on the screen. Mm, Earlier yep. builds didn't have Excellent. the points. Uh, kudos to your Popeye knowledge. Jay Wellington Wimpy. I will gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. Yeah. <laughs> um, later on, around 7th grade, I got an 800 XL for Christmas. I didn't have any storage medium, so I couldn't do much. It wasn't about until a year later that I got a disk drive. That's world-changing. Oh my god, a computer without... A disk drive 
it's painful. Especially if you use tape. Or cassette tapes, yeah. Mm -hmm. So slow. Made it to the second level. Good. Ah! Oh, you came up. Um, and the screen shake was added recently in one of the builds. So when he jumps down, it goes... Oh, it's yeah. so cool. It, it was really, really cool in the arcade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it just felt so... Like, heavy. It had some weight had to weight. it. Weight, yeah, 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 exactly. Again? Um, you want to play? Yeah, I'll play. Um, so... Right here after disk drive. Go to disk drive. Excellent. You need to get the spinach. Have you, yeah. been, have you been neglecting the spinach? I think like spinach? twice I've gotten the spinach. I don't think I've been focusing on getting the spinach. So yeah, so, it probably would help. So I'm going to play the arcade. Yeah. <laughs> we'll um, look at advanced after. It's painful. It's So deadly. it wasn't until about a year later that I got a disk drive. My elementary school principal got an Apple IIc or something. Uh, she gave me her old disk drive. From there, I made some pretty weird games. <laughs> I wrote one for a magazine, but it didn't get any recognition. Aww. I still have all of my old programs. It sounds like you. Yeah, I, I have them all too. <laughs> These discs. Discs and right discs. Right there. Yeah, right there. Um, uh, they were kind of embarrassing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I found some machine language routines that allowed for faster vertical player missile movement in basic, but it was still really slow. I just had fun drawing sprites and making things come to life. I got out of it for a long time. I bought a C64 way past its prime. <laughs> it was on a mini merchant website. I had a book on assembly. I spent enough time to plot an animated sprite on, a, on screen and control it with a joystick. It was a Pac-Man and four monsters. It was very simple. That's as far as I got with assembly. <laughs> oh, Jesus. He jumped down and reached down immediately. At the same time? Went... Pfft. Yeah. That was deadly. He's mean. Uh, I started college uh, planning for electrical engineering. My real passion was computers. I wanted to do something like game writing, but there were not any courses. The colleges said that it wasn't a real career. <laughs> mm. What year? Uh, <laughs> In the late 80s? This was around 88, 89. I couldn't afford any other yeah. computer like an ST, uh, ST or Amiga, so I, I just put it up for a, put, I just put it up for a while. And about 12 years ago, I went back to school for web development and design. I started making HTML, JavaScript games. It just seemed like the oh, natural Jesus. thing to try. I also made a game in Visual Basic. I work mostly with C... I don't know. What do you... C++? C++? No, C... C Sharp? C Sharp, yes. Um, most workly with C Sharp. Uh, I do server-side programming. I like that sort of thing. I like to create user experiences. I like the front end and the logic work on the back. I mostly do real work in that area. Very cool. Your history with the game Popeye. I think I first saw Popeye at the corner store. I was blown away by the graphics. I never thought a game could look that much like a cartoon. Yeah, and it's true. The characters look so good. Especially in the arcade. It's yeah. like really <laughs> high resolution graphics. Yeah. I remember seeing it at the Goga Lake Arcade. Um, Galga? Goga? Uh, I dragged my cousin over to rave about how realistic it was. I oh, would drop watch... the bucket, yes. I'll, I'll do that next time. Because we haven't done <laughs> that. Because I didn't tell you how to do it. Yeah. Um, I dragged my cousin over to rave about how realistic it was. I oh. would watch the game and look at all the details. I didn't play it as much as other games like Donkey Kong Jr. and Mario Brothers, but there was a draw to that game. I would watch the attract mode. I was in awe of how <laughs> Brutus would look around inquisitively. I wondered how they got him to think. <laughs> how did they get oh, all of yeah. those facial expressions? I would oh, admire the wrinkles on. in Brutus's shirt. It, it is incredibly beautiful yeah. and detailed. And he kept I would drag the shirt. adults over to show them how he'd swish his hand down and try to get Popeye. If he was frustrated, he'd even jump down. The level of detail really drew me in. And it is is—it is a game where the figures aren't just like little stick figures. They, they have like a three-dimensionality. Yeah. If that's a word. <laughs> uh, to them. Nice. You can drop that down. You can get the spinach too at the same time. But it's best to just do one or the other. Mm. So I don't think you get a combo bonus or anything. Nice. When he gets really mad, shakes the whole screen. Mm -hmm. 
I eventually got it for my 5200. My friend had it for the 2600. While I was taken back a bit by the graphics, <laughs> I was thankful that it had great music and was and it was very solid. I oh didn't, yeah. I didn't understand why Brutus had a number five for a head. <laughs> I'll have to look at that. Again. I know. Yeah, the gameplay was very solid for 16k. Brutus was pretty straightforward. He would kind of wander, but anytime Popeye was above or below him, he'd jump up, down, or reach down. Every time he did that, he'd go left. So it was really easy to keep uh, Brutus out of your way. Still very impressive for 16k. So the hearts go in the water. Yes. Oh god. So you gotta watch out that they don't sink. Oh Do you lose them? Uh, what happens yeah, when they sink? You die. Oh, you die. You lose a life. Ah. Oh, you gotcha. It's a bottle or me. Someone says, can you pinwheel while moving back and forth on the moving platform? Pinwheel? On the A800 version, it was a good way to punch birds and not get grabbed by Brutus. Oh, so I'll try it. you just bounce back boom, and boom, forth? Boom, 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 boom. Ah. Oh, I'll try that. If a heart sinks, Olive will yell at you. Oh, we have to show oh, that. Oh, wow. At some point, we'll have to go and show that. Because I rarely let that... Oh, stuck. Rarely let that happen. Yeah, because you freak out. You don't want to let it happen. Yeah. <laughs> um, I always wanted to improve the graphics since it had so much going for it. That is why I hacked the 8-bit version twice over the years. We didn't alter the logic. It was just nice finally to finally fix Brutus's head. <laughs> <laughs> the rest was just a bonus. Those <laughs> hacks are posted in the Atari Age forum here. Uh, Playsoft is a wizard. He did the heavy lifting and I was able to make the changes that I wanted. The most recent version was one I really liked because we added some spinning bottles and such. The graphics are always a compromise being limited to 8 pixels wide at mm. such a low resolution. And I started to play it again on MAME. Uh, when I picked up a few arcade games for the basement, Popeye was one of them. It's in my library. I don't play it as often as some, but I still like to look at it. The jingle is also fun to hear. Sorry, punch not pinwheel. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like pinwheel. Yeah. Like he spins around. I don't remember that. He just. But I did. I did do that a lot on the C sixty four, going back and forth, mm. punching the bird, and. Um, oh yeah, you're able to punch while you're moving. So yeah. Ah, it's gonna reach up. Ah. Yep, that still works very well. A little bit of slowdown there. So there's a lot going on on the screen. Mm -hmm. So in this one, you're building a ladder up to olive oil. Can I get that? Ugh. Can I get any of these? <laughs> no. <laughs> They're all just out, out of reach. Out of reach, yeah. Ah. Uh-oh, your pee's down there. Ah! Just in time. Oh, although I do want to see olive oil uh, yelling. Get, get mad. Yeah. I'll, I'll do a throwaway game. Oh, I almost made it up. I'll do it in this next one. I will show you uh, expert mode. Deadly. Then I'm going to play basic mode so I can go through the levels. Like the novice? Yeah, novice. Yeah. So here's expert, which is kind of the second round of arcade, I think, pretty much. Because there's the skulls. The skulls will start. He starts moving fast. There's the skulls. This is expert? Oh, my goodness. There's a lot going on on the screen. Get your heart. Get your heart. Skulls. Can you hit the skulls? Yeah, you can punch them. Mm. Get your spinach. Mm, not nope. yet. You really want to use that. At the right time? At the... When you need it. <laughs> I'm going to do a little pause here. Because I can get these hearts and him at the same time. Well, I don't know, because he's very fast in this. Oh my god, let's just get the heart then. Nope. Nope. Don't get him now. He's nope. going to get ya. Damn oh, it. great animation in this. Really good. It's got all the all the graphics of the original game. Yeah. I don't think you can punch him. Can you? No. 
No. Just stay out of the way. Oh, oh skull. The skull. Deadly. Deadly. <laughs> it's very hard. There's a lot going on. I think you're close to having all the hearts. Yeah, four more. Maybe I'll get them again. Because you get that back every time. Ah! Uh, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> right away! Uh, okay, I'm gonna do basic mode. Amazing how much Daryl has fit onto the screen without losing anything due to the uh, to the losing anything to the DL. Mm. DL. Not sure what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do novice, so I can actually play through the levels. <laughs> Need practice in this. Well, this will be a, a good game to practice on. Yeah. Good version. Good job. Yay. So you can see when you get the hearts, gives you 300, shows 300 on the screen. Mm. Oh, 500. I think you get more points the higher up they are. Oh. Like if you're up there, they're 500. If you're there, it's 300. 500. Mm. And if you're down here, oh, I'm gonna have to grab it here. It's probably only 100. Oh. Terrible. How many sound voices are used? That's a very good question. Uh, Have you read out the whole interview? Nope. Okay. There's a lot more. Um, so what made you decide to turn your 50. learning exercise of Popeye into a full-blown port for the 7800? Because it was originally just a, a, a demo, one mm. level demo. I think this is the most important part to share. It was the community support and encouragement. I didn't expect this to go anywhere. When Zero Page announced you were going to play my game on your stream. I got a lump in my throat. Uh, do <laughs> do like, they uh, know this is not a full Popeye game? <laughs> They're going to be so disappointed, I thought. As I watched the live stream, was it was... very careful to emphasize. Yeah. <laughs> this is not the full Popeye. <laughs> Don't expect a full Popeye. As I watched the live stream, it was just the opposite. It was so encouraging and welcoming. I even saw positive comments in the chat. I got the feeling that people really wanted to see this finish. Yes, we did. Oh, yeah. I was motivated, but I didn't think I had it in me. Um, I had posted that I had used all of my variables because I had already used var 0 to var 26 or something like that. I'm probably saying that wrong. Uh, uh, Matt yeah. or Mike chimed in and told me that I had 99 more in one place and many more I could make after those. I started to think uh, I could expand the game a little and see where it would go. They were a big help at Playsoft, had extracted the music from the A8 port as well as the Popeye head. I used that level music in an early... Pokey version. Pokey's the sound card mm. on the 7800. Gotcha. The advanced sound card. Mm. I can't say enough good yeah, about him. I've worked on quite a few projects with him and he's just been a great guy. He's a real asset to the community too. He and at Jinra, Jinra? Jinro. Jinro have been encouraging. I had, a pr I had to pretty much redraw the extracted Popeye head detail because it distorted badly when I had to resize it. Popeye head. <laughs> a lot of emphasis on the Popeye head. It's very important. <laughs> uh, however, without that base four color PNG, I wouldn't have been able to configure GIMP. Now you're using terms I don't know. <laughs> GIMP, GIMP is a, um, uh, it's like Photoshop. Okay. Except uh, open source, or at least oh, free. Okay. I'm sure it's open. I'm pretty yeah. sure it's open source. It was also a great outline. I thought it was cool for the intro, but then I later re I later saw that Maria could plot the Popeye head over top of the ship. I got chills. Wow, what other system can do that? Maria is the video chip for the 7800. Nice. I'm learning a little bit about the 7800. <laughs> yeah. Because I have to. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, I am out of memory, ah, so I ah, can't ah, plot ah. the fence around Olive or the moving platform during the ship intro and clear screen. Mm. Well, Shortly, there's, yeah. There's always concessions yeah. when you port games to, yeah. to systems. Never exactly no. what it's like on other systems, right? Yeah. But it looks really good. Oh, so good. Even the stairs are still chunky because they were chunky in the arcade. Oh my god. I need a spinach. No! <laughs> no, no, <a> spinach! <laughs> If you clear the ship, you get to see the big Popeye head. Yes, that's right. We haven't done that yet. No. Well, that's why I'm playing on Novice. <laughs> so we can see that. Come on, spin it. Let's do it. Yes. Get him. Smack. Nice. Should have waited till more things were on the screen. It's okay. Oh, I only need like two more. And that, that uh, huh. witch. Uh... What's the P doing? It's going crazy. Is it? It was on the left and then just jumped went around. all the way around. 
Um, I'm sure that's not what it's supposed to be doing. Look at it, it's going crazy. Oh my god. The pee? <laughs> look at oh it. yeah. It's like bouncing it's around. It's a hardcore pee. I don't know. Ooh, look at this. Oh, this is like the nice. the big rescue. Nice. Nice. With the star around. That looks great. And wraps oh. back around. And now it's skull time. Oh boy. Oh, that was close. Jeez. So in this first level, you kind of get two ways to get him. You have the barrel mm. and the spinach. So this is kind of the easier level. Oh my god. Kind of. Oh, it didn't oh, see the bottle. It was yeah, right sometimes. along the heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So shortly after your stream, at the last synth... P is supposed to go crazy. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, at Synth Palooza posted, guess I better do Poke or t uh, TIA music for this lol. <laughs> uh, the next thing I know, more people are showing interest in helping. I think they are just a super music and testing team. At Pat Brady and at Trevor uh, started to come up with samples and discuss what, what voices should have priority. Mm. At MK Smith and at Revenge, uh, we're there to help with integrating the music and any programming snacks. I felt the need to push on. Programming snacks? Snags. Snacks. It's like S programming snacks. I, Yum. <laughs> you said program. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> I want to go get some chips. Get some programming um, snacks? <laughs> some programming snacks. Um, <laughs> I had level one where I was comfortable. I decided to plot level two. Now I had a seesaw, hamburger fiend, a floating baby <laughs> to contend fiend. with. Um, that was painful at first. This is the point where I had to copy my code to different cartridge banks while renaming all of my functions. It was a challenging time. Uh, when I finally had that pretty solid, I had to push myself to plot the ship. It was kind of like Terrible. starting over a bit. Fortunately, I tried to write it all with use reusability in mind. Nathan Storm says, this is a definite must buy. The 7800 really does the game justice. Yes. 100% yes. must buy. This is so good yeah oh daryl says the last p is supposed to go crazy yeah ah. not supposed to be easy see i don't play the game enough now i know <laughs> okay now i'm gonna play the arcade version see how i do how far you get see if i can make it around wrap it around mm -hmm. to the um first level again oh it's mad so mad Uh, when I passed the, yeah, when I passed the 48k point, I also had to sacrifice a few things like Popeye's oh, spinning death. I was later able to trim some fat mm. in areas, and I managed to get a single death frame. I think the splash makes up for it. Mm. Yep. And he says, "Thank you for your support and encouragement. I actually have a newer version to share with you, which I assume is the one we're looking at. Yeah. Uh, please check this out. Not even the guys in the forum have seen the Atari Today intro. Yeah, it's nice." Uh, I am saving that for a surprise. It was a nice surprise. Yes. Gorgeous. I'll probably post the public demo on Wednesday. No. Well, no. that was when we were going to yeah. play on Tuesday. <laughs> uh, so maybe tomorrow. Tuesday might be too soon. Um, <laughs> since I'm all, I'll already be up past my bedtime. Uh, the public demo will be limited to arcade difficulty. Players get one life, and an extra life cannot be earned. The full version has novice and expert mode. Novice is easier, Popeye is faster, you start with more lives, and the spinach mm. resets after each death. Expert is hard, Brutus is relentless, fast, and some other stuff. Arcade is just right, but it might take a little getting used to at first. Yeah, arcade is fair. It's hard, yeah. but it's fair. A novice is good because you get used to the How movement in the game. Works. And No, I, I like games with... Um, practice modes almost right yeah so like you can, get you used can to the ease, game. ease your way into into the gameplay get to see all the levels yeah i like that and then then you know trying at the harder levels just becomes more of a challenge so. yep. yeah and always putting like the super hard mode is great for people yeah. who are just like totally bored of the easy version <laughs> like oh i could just wrap around arcade come here get that note yeah yes I like the moon, I like the baby, the floating Only baby. Only bad on the part side. is if you want a physical copy, you would need to provide your own pokey. <laughs> or get a pokey one. Is that what it was called? Pokey one? Uh, which is the uh, hardware um, hardware emulation. Not hardware emulation, it's actual hardware um, that can replace a pokey. But I, mm. but I thought I read that there's an issue with them recently and they had to stop making them or recall them. But 
I may be wrong. Oh, I saw him oh. doing that. Because he looks up before he does it. Mm. So you, you can get a little bit of a warning when that's coming. Oh. Geralt says, my debug mode can be unlocked as a cheat mode by entering a code in on the main title screen. Oh, that's what dev mode is that he's talking or about. Or cheat mode, yeah. Or, um, yeah, debug mode. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. A pokey one would work, wouldn't it? Ah, did Not someone clone the Poke Chip? Yes, they did. And um, Atari Age was using it for a bit for something, mm. but then they had to stop. But somebody else can explain that more. I'll play again? Sure, I'll play. I'll play another. And I almost made the third level, so after you play, I'm going to try it again. My debug mode can unlock by entering a code on the main title screen. Game over! <laughs> Um. Oh, run. Nope. <laughs> don't forget to let a heart sink. Oh yes. Oh yeah. You want to yeah. do that right now? Yeah, yeah. Just don't let him get you. No. Thank you for a reminder, Daryl. Let all that out. It's almost down. It's almost sunk. Don't get the other one. Watch yeah. out! I broke. Oh! He splashed. He he died. <gasps> She's yelling at him. What did look at the the heart is <laughs> in the water? How dare you throw my love away? Oh, so, so sad. So sad. Oh. What happened there? That should have got him. He was right under it. Bug, bug, <laughs> bug, bug. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he got me. I think that was definitely a bug. He Do was, you think? He seems right doing? under it. I don't know. Hmm. Might have been a bug. I don't know. Or he oh. just wasn't perfectly lined up. Usually when you dropped centered. it on him, he's two down, not one down. Does that matter? Doesn't matter. He can be at anywhere. Hmm. Yep. I need to look at that collision when he's throwing. Yeah, because he was in a throwing mode. Oh. So I might only be checking when he's walking rather than mm. in a throwing. Um so it may not be doing that check. Oh. See, he was way off and it got him there, right? Oh, up, there you go. <laughs> You're on the stair. Oh no! You can still get him. Just touch him. You don't have to punch him. Oh, you don't? You just touch him. It automatically punches when you touch him. It's great because it's got the this flickering sea hag still there, even though you don't need to flicker it. That's that was what it looked like in the arcade. Even the like um, interlacing look to when she comes in on the screen is still retained in this. Oh, uh, I hate else? that. Whatever. Interesting. I do that all the time. Oh. What, are you playing the arcade version? Yes. Oh. Yeah, it's a little bit harder. His throw is relatively new. Oh, okay, so that's probably why. It's like whenever you add something new, there's always going to be other bugs coming up because you haven't tested things with that new, new, st new thing. Oh, he's mad. Broke out of it. I got the punching down now. Yeah. Oh, that's close. So you can get a lot of points by just staying and punching those bottles. Mm hmm. I mean, they're not a huge amount, ah. but. Whoa! <laughs> I did not know you could do that. Now you know. <laughs> See, there is a spot. What stair were you on? Uh, You're on like the. I was like the second. The, the second, yeah. Second or third stair up. Yeah, is that ever funny? Dr. Moo Cow says, sick dodge. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It's like she's beaming up. Star Trek. Yeah, the, the sea hag does look like she's beaming up. She does. Like, she's be she is, like, go coming on the screen, beaming in from nowhere. It just appears. I didn't know you could do that either. L-M-B-O. LMBO. LMBO. Laughing my butt off? <laughs> Is that like the polite version of LMAO? <laughs> no, you don't have to punch him. How do you get over yeah, on that side? Him. Oh, you have oh, to. Oh, the through. The through. 
Or that. Yeah, so you can go back and forth through that. Ah. This ship doesn't have a through, but all these do. These levels. The first two levels have a through. Yay! And they're very good for dodging, except when he's way on the left and he's throwing bottles. Ah. Then he's like, Ugh, him or the bottle. Uh. Mm. Well, you can punch the bottles, but... Yes, polite. <laughs> Laughing my butt off. <laughs> cool effect in the arcade and this version. Yes. Yeah, I remember doing that. It, sliding over and punching the bird at the same time a lot on the C64. That must have been a really useful tactic. Whoa, that was close. I tend to forget the spinach is there. Oh, oh yeah. that, that is that's sneaky. That's deadly. That's sneaky. So you can't even be under him when he's too above you. Because yeah, he can do that at any second. Does he give an indicator that he's doing that? Does he look down before he jumps down? I'll have to watch. Get that bird. Can you just touch the bird? I don't know. I, don't I bet you can just touch him when you're in that mode. Yep. Ah, uh, uh, get uh, up, up, uh, up, up, uh, uh, No! Uh, I didn't doing? mean to do that. I got stuck. Oh, you almost made the third level. Oh, okay. I have to run. I'm going to grab a drink. Do you want some more water? Uh, I'm pretty full. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, we're going to try and beat the third level in the arcade mode. Uh, I'm surprising there wasn't a 7800 port back in the day since it seemed to get a release not damn near, near every console and computer at the time. Um... Yeah, I was trying to figure out why as well they didn't do a conversion. I think on the 7800, did they do mostly Atari brand, like Atari Arcade? I think they were just avoiding licensing. Um, so they did mostly arcade ports of Atari games. And this wasn't an Atari game. They would have to license it and pay extra for it. So I'm sure they were trying to keep costs down. I mean, they're converting old Atari um, arcade games. Uh, I think I'm going to have to do this. Parker Brothers released all the ports before the crash, and Atari didn't... Oops, not looking. Ah, just missed him. That's okay. Uh, give me that heart. Give me that heart. There we go. Mm. Oh, you're not hearing the heart music. Heart music? Not you, but you can't hear the heart music. Or can you? Yeah, oh, you can. When it when it hits Don't the water. We have the music pretty low, so it doesn't go into the... No, you can hear it. You can hear the... It yeah. wasn't, though. Oh. I don't think. Oh, candy. Yeah. Why are you bringing me candy? Because it's, it's programming, snacks. programming snacks. programming snacks. <laughs> Oh, it's looking up. So if you can get them up here, it's better. Oh. Once in a while they get through, so you do what you can. And sometimes they get stuck on that second level there, which mm -hmm. is very interesting. The heart, uh, the notes, like there. Mm -hmm. It's just like eh, I'll just hang out here. But I'm think I think that's what actually happens in the arcade too. Mm. Well, I need to get that. I think I'll get the spinach because it's pretty close. I'll get that. Jump up there, and those are the last two. Do -do 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 -do. Good job. I think I died, though. Did I? Did you? They would also slow down. I did a compromise. They get stuck on the level on arcade. Oh, okay. Ah. Because Nintendo had the license at the, at the time. Oh, okay. Ugh. Then you have to go all the way down here. Oh, I'm in trouble. I should get that. Just in case. We're, we're, we're working through our Halloween candy right now. So. It's a big bowl <laughs> of candy. I like these little ones because you can have just a couple of little packets and not like... Be tempted to eat the whole thing? Yeah. Yeah. They should have these all year round. Or maybe they oh, shouldn't. So I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> That's... Dangerous. Well, the bigger packs are more dangerous. Well, really. yeah, because you eat a whole big pack of candy, so... Mm. Mm, 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 mm. 
Oh my god, he does that. The D train, what are you eating? Candy. They are Maynard's, Maynard's Sour Patch Kids. I assume you have Maynard's in, uh... I'm pretty sure... The U.S.? I saw that on some... Basically, they're just little sour-coated gummies. I think Maynard's exist. Mm -hmm. Damn it! I was cornered! But I still have a couple lives, and only a couple more things to get. Mm -hmm. So I think I can make it. Unless I do stupid things like this. Use my spinach up already. Ugh. Force down here. Oh, well, they're all going to come down here soon anyway. Get! Get! <laughs> Need that. One more. Ugh. Oh, get out of the way! Mmm, that pee. Yep, I'll get it. Yay! Yay! Woo! Do, 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 do. <laughs> Magic of citrus, a citric, citric Cit acid and sugar. sugar. Yes. Oh, Much. not sure if there's a Maynard's. Well, that's just the company that makes them yeah. in Canada. I think it's still Maynard's in the U.S. Is it? Yeah. Mm. Almost certain. Oh my god. I hate that movie does. 40,000 will be extra life? Ooh, I'm not super close. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was close, that's why he was saying it, but I'm not super close. Or at 33. Close-ish. Mm, so I just need to drop, there. maybe drop this on his head. What? It, it, that bug killed me. No. Unfair. <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> oh, that's okay. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Is that a new joystick? I feel like I remember it's smaller, maybe a different color. This is a USB joystick. Yeah, um, and it is huge. Because we're playing this on emulation mm. because there's no RGB for 7800 yet, and there's not a readily, readily available SD cartridge for the 7800. Mm. So as soon as those two things happen, which are very, very soon, mm. we will be playing 7800 on a real console. Yay! Yes. Um... Because I have at least two 7800s, so I'll be modding one of them. I like how he says that and thinks, I think I have at least two. Because I've got that one there. <laughs> and then I've got one in the box in the other room. Okay. And there might be one more. Yeah, there might be. Somewhere just buried around the house, there's another 7800 so. <laughs> kicking around. It's always good to have extra 7800s. <laughs> you gotta it? have some backups. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh no, 5200. Two that I remember. Yeah, it's yes. 73. The two that the two I, remember I remember are here and here. <laughs> no, it's, I have three 5200s. That's the thing. I have three three 5200s. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much, Daryl Ginther, for letting mm -hmm. us play this amazing, amazing port mm -hmm. of Popeye. It is truly astounding and probably one of, the, probably the best port mm. of Popeye of all the systems at least best looking because i haven't played them all mm. i played the nes i played the 2600 mm. version um and um they both play very well mm. but in terms of graphics this one is unbelievable mm -hmm. this is so good and it plays amazingly mm -hmm. too um who doesn't have extra 7800 <laughs> flying around <laughs> so the uh demo of this should be out either today mm or probably tomorrow so you can ask daryl um yeah, when that's going to come out he could post it because mm -hmm. i'm not sure um because he he sent me along the demo versions of each of these so i know he has them done mm. um so just a matter of when it's when, when he's, when he's got it all done typed up and, and all that yeah, yeah 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 cool it's so much fun so i'm really looking forward to playing this again yeah. uh when it's fully complete mm -hmm. and especially if somehow he's able to get it on cartridge yeah it is a port, uh, and some companies are pretty, pretty sticky about, <laughs> about yeah, even re even releasing like a whole yeah. So port, it might right? have to yeah. be called um, Fighting Spinach Man <laughs> when it comes out. <laughs> uh, spinach Fighter, yeah. uh, Punchy Man. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what name you have to pick. <laughs> Pop leg, yeah. pop forearms. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can figure out a good name for uh, for the release. <laughs> uh, oh yes, it'll be on the GS78 emulator mm. online too. 
2 as well. Okay, so nice. he's going to release the demo. I like Spinach Fighting Man. <laughs> spinach Fighting Man. <laughs> Describes it well enough. I think people will understand what Spinach Fighting Man is. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit clunky, but mm. it's funny. <laughs> spinach Punch Man. Mm. Spinach Punch Man. Mm -hmm. uh, shouldn't this game come with an obligatory tobacco warning? He does have a pipe, and there is something coming out of the pipe, but I'm going to say it's bubbles mm -hmm. <laughs> right now. Uh, could be anything, but probably bubbles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so he's blowing bubbles as he walks. Yeah. Um, don't think you'd have to put an alcohol warning because those could be, you know, uh, root the beer. The bottles, bottles could be any kind of bottles. Any kind of bottles. That's right. Yeah. Spinach warning? <laughs> no. Uh, so, uh, amazing, 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 amazing. Mm -hmm. I can't stress enough how incredible that that is um so we're gonna move on to the next game uh it's for the 2600 uh this has an interesting story um behind it because this game was just released to the public or at least known to the public about a week ago oh really and this programmer all of a sudden from nowhere nobody heard of him that i know of he because he wasn't in the list um, that Arena Foot has been maintaining mm. of all the homebrew games and all the developers. Uh, his name is Brooke Anderson, and he released five games. Well, he talked about five games all at once and released three of them into the Facebook groups, um, the Atari 2600 Facebook groups, mm. um, and just came out of nowhere. Mm. Um, so we're going to play one today, and then we're going to play his other two in the next show. Uh, this one is called Trench, and I wanted to play this one first because it has a very unique perspective, and I don't think any other 2600 game has this look to it, mm. this perspective. What it is, it's a top-down, 3D, parallax-scrolling game. Your ship in a trench. So is it like Star Wars, like uh, yes. you know, flying into the trench and hitting the? Uh, so think Star Wars. What is what is it called? The garbage port? port. The exhaust port. Thank um, you. So think Star Wars. Yeah. In the Star Wars arcade game, it was a straight-on view, mm. and you would dodge things up and down. Up and down, yeah. This is very very similar to that game. Okay. Except instead of a forward-facing view, it's a top-down view. Okay. And the things that you're trying to avoid have a parallax look to them. Oh, okay. So you know when you're looking down at something and you're, the things are over there, you can see all three of them, but by the time they get to you and you're looking down, you, can just, you can't see all three. Mm. It's just one, and then they go past you, and you can see all three again. Mm. That's what this game does. Cool. And on the 2600, that's an amazing, amazing feat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Star Strike, sort of trench run. Mm. Star Strike. Mm, I don't know that one. We'll have to take a look at that. Um, this one has some issues <laughs> with line count. Yeah. So we're going to be playing it on the Retron 77. Okay. We could play it on uh, Stella as well, but it runs the brand new Stella and it's hooked up. It's fine. And it's fine. And, so. it's, and it's hooked up, as you say. <laughs> yeah, so it makes it easy. So we'll just pop out Ghost Manor. Just run no cartridge in it, which means it goes to the SD. Um, cart. Uh, I hear your description, but I don't believe you. <laughs> you better show some proof. Show your work. That's right? what this this show is all about. <laughs> show your work. Showing the work. Okay. Showing the proof. Demoing the game. Why isn't it actually showing me anything? I noticed all the uh, fuzzy peaches oh, were gone. Because I took out the SD card. Oh no! <laughs> the fuzzy peaches? Yeah! Where did uh, they go? I have been, I've actually been not eating those. Really? Yeah, I've been eating everything but the fuzzy they peaches. They probably just put like three bags in the whole box and... Oh, those are my favorite. Yeah, because I was showing people how to dump cartridges. So, let's put it back in. This is the joystick that you were used to looking at. Yeah, the yeah. nor the well, the, not the normal one, but the one we use with the Atari. Yes. The twenty six hundred. So there we go. Oh, that's massive. Um, it should still work. 
let me just configure something. So trench. Actually, I wanted to see what. Oh, I don't have much in here. Um, what did he say? Star Strike. Let's take a look at Star Strike. Actually, before we look at this, Star Strike. And his fave joystick, I think, uh, the one that kind James of? has. <laughs> I know I like it a lot more than the um, than the brick one. <laughs> <laughs> This one is much easier to hold in a lap, and it's lighter too, but I'm not too fond of the um, the cord popping oh. out because I always put a little pressure on it and it pops out at some point yeah. in the game. No, this is not exactly, because this is still forward view. No Oops. one can see it. So. I know. Just getting it ready. Nice. There we go. So this is still first person perspective, or mm. third, depending on... If you're seeing your, your ship or not, yeah. Come on, start. Start. There we go. Yeah, it's third. So this is not... So think of this, but overhead. Well, that's cool. It's got a little shadow. I haven't played this game. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many 2600 games. It's oh, unbelievable. Yeah. Um, no, it's not that. So let me change out the graphics for Trench. I need to stop this game now so it's not playing sounds in the background. Yep. Okay, switch back. Well, we've got to... This should... Oh, that's is not... it cut off slightly? It is, because it's expecting something else. It's mm. too wide. Is that the right aspect ratio? I think that's too wide. It does look a little off. Uh, video and audio. Hmm. I don't think this is going to do it. That's only vertical size for a tiny bit. Oh, no, zero. No. Uh, mm. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I think. I think the zoom is too big. How do I get up there? I have to go down the other way. <laughs> <laughs> Try 250. No! Cancel. Down to close. Play it again. I'll do it manually. <laughs> that's, that's annoying. Oh, I know why. Let's see. I think. Filters. Add. Crop and pad. To the right hand side. Let's get rid of get out of the way. <laughs> Sorry. One second. <laughs> Technical difficulties. You need refresh after changing settings. <laughs> refresh? Mm. Oh, I think I got it. Someone said, I think you need to reboot the Retron when changing settings, or it won't. Oh. Mm. It's so wide. It doesn't yeah. make sense, though. I, bear, I rarely use the Retron, so that's why it's all crazy. Oh, we'll no. get there. Okay. We'll figure it out. I think I just need to make this smaller. That's all there. There. Yeah. Okay, All good right. enough. <laughs> I've totally messed up other settings, but it's good enough for now. More candy. More, More candy. candy will solve all the problems. That's correct. Okay, so this is Trench. This was put out originally in 2019, mm -hmm. um, but released to the public uh, in 2020. Mm -hmm. Other games he's made, a binary game, Blipskitball, Digits, Retro Racing, Trench, 
Other systems he's made, uh, NES games, ColecoVision games, Chelonian for the NES, Crunch, Digits. Um, so he's made Digits for Atari 2600 and NES. Um, the I for ColecoVision and LED Assault for NES. Um, so here, so there's four different settings. I highly recommend playing the easiest. The you are a turtle, yes. normal, coffee addict. <laughs> I drink Scalosian water, which I have no idea what that reference is. Scalosian so someone will have water. to enlighten me, enlighten me on that. Yeah. Mm. Very Doom-esque, Doom hurt me plenty, yes. Mm. Is it a Doom controller. reference then? Uh, it's it's along the lines like this. Op, this menu is very doom esque. Oh, I see. I like see. in terms of the sounds of the the different types. Oh, you didn't need all the sour patch. Thank no, you. No, not yet. Not yet. Getting there. Well, play. You are a turtle. Okay. Sorry. One more. So he posted. Um, Oh, up and down? Left and right moves your ship left and right. No, up and, up, and down. Up and down oh, moves sides. your ship. Oh, oh my goodness. Moves your ship vertically up and down. How do I know? So you need to get it to the bottom level. When when there's those bricks, you need to go to the bottom. I'm so And then confused. dodge. Oh, so that's got, up? That's the highest height. You need to go down one. There you go. Up. There you go. Okay. Down to the bottom and go through that opening. Oh, how do I? This 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 screws with my mind. <laughs> yeah, you have to get used to the perspective. I wanna I wanna hold it this way. <laughs> you can turn it. Yeah. Daryl says, "Wow, that's pretty cool looking. That does look cool." Nathan Strom says, "Yeah, I have never seen a game on the 2600 that uses this perspective with oh. parallel, with parallax. I just got one." two, three mirrored parallax scrolling. Well, actually four. One, two, three, four. And then four on the bottom as well. As you can see, as you pass through, as it gets closer to you, the lines pass over each other. It's very amazing. No, it's actually three vertical levels. Ugh. So you have yeah, to I really... I can't quite figure it out. <laughs> you, you have to watch the extents of mm. where the how far the lines go on the top and bottom yeah. to see. Yeah. It's 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 It would be easier if they were colored, but I'd have to see what he's using for all these different colors. Ugh. You think you're <laughs> low you enough, go. but you're not. Yeah, you have to go right to the bottom. So when there's bricks, you just go right to the bottom because you have to go through the bricks. Uh if you pretend you're looking at it from the side, it's basically a side scroller. Laser gates. Oh. It, yeah, that is very true. Nope. Yeah, I'm that's too. true. If you you can think of it not as looking down, but looking at the ship flying sideways, and there's gates. Vertical gates. That's an interesting perspective, yeah. Never thought nope. of it that way. I'm very confused. By the bottom <laughs> one, I'm not sure what, okay, what that, level. Okay, you have to go to the top. Yeah. That's easy because you know when those come along, but that's then I the don't middle. know. Go to the top. Is how do you know that's the middle? Yeah. What when I play, watch the how long the lines are, and then you'll you'll see. Oh, okay, that's the long one. Like that. That's when the there's lowest. only one. It's the lowest. That's the lowest and the highest. Oh, I see now. Yeah, that's just go in the middle on that one. Go to the bottom. There Sixty. I'm not sure when it ends because you didn't hit anything there. Mm. I think it might be times. It must be times. Mm -hmm. Scrolling might be scr smoother if vertical. It's way easier to turn it sideways. By the way, it's very hard well, to you understand. Have to change your it's mental. Very, yeah, it doesn't work. Mapping. You turn it sideways and it makes ah. sense. Ah, right away it just threw me. Yeah. Yeah, I get it now with the with the placement of the lines. I was like, Yeah, you're just what is going on? Because <laughs> the middle and the bottom one, I was having trouble, and also where I was too. Yeah. You middle, figure it out after a while. Middle and top are very similar looking. Yeah. And 
and there's a tiny bit of delay be between when you press it and when it actually happens. Yes, yeah, it's so not instantaneous, kinda... yeah. And the video he shows of himself playing it. Really fast? It's unbelievably nice. fast. He's very good <laughs> at his own game. I, I could not play it. I'd never get to his level, I don't think. What? Oh, it wasn't down all the way. Oh, this is a Star Trek reference. Can you write, read out some of that stuff? Well, yeah, I, uh... I can't read it while I'm playing. Ugh, tried to go down. There's like a slight delay. Oh, in 2268, James T. Kirk was hyper-accelerated without his consent by Dila, who put scolosian no water in his coffee. Dr. Ugh. Leonard McCoy determined this and created a counter-agent, which Spock proceeded to give to the captain by drinking the water himself and de delivering it. Ah, it's gone. Okay, I'm going to do a drink scolosian water. Look, look at this madness. <laughs> Drinking the water himself and delivering it once in the same state. Kirk drank the counter agent and returned to normal while Spock remained hyper accelerated, hyper -accelerated in order to repair damages wrought on the USS Enterprise by the Scalosian intruders. Oh my god, this Wake is madness. Up. Very nice. The 3D effect is, is because it's not happens. scrolling as slow, um, the 3D effect kind of works a bit better here, mm -hmm. but this is madness. I may be able to get through some of them. All right, Daryl, Ginther, have a nice uh, night. A good evening. He said it's past his bedtime, it's time to go to bed, so. <laughs> yeah, compared to this. Look at the speed of this. Mm. It's madness. Yep. Like, I, I can't even get to the height of when the bricks come, let alone position myself so I can get through them. You don't seem to die. You just don't, no. you get less score. I think it's timing, yeah. So I guess there's a perfect run. Yes, for each each level. Yeah. Yeah, scrolling looks better when moving faster. Yeah, because yeah, you don't see the chunkiness of it. I'd like to analyze and see what they're using for each of these things. Because even the lines are chunky, but I think he's trying to plan that so it moves along with the chunkiness. A zero. Whole zero. <laughs> Can I try? I made it through some of those, though. I guess you get penalized as well when you don't go through one. Like, you lose and gain. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But it doesn't give you negative. So, theoretically, if you make it through the last one, you should have points, even if you didn't get any of the other ones. Oh my goodness. No, I can't do it this way. <laughs> this is why I'm like, why is nothing working the way it's supposed to? I'm going to take a look at uh, what they're using to make this game. What's going on? I hate this. The perspective is... Oh. Crazy. What is up and what is down here? That's down. Forward is down, which is... Oh. can't react very quickly. <laughs> it in f is forward down in combat with biplanes. 50. I think it's your longest you it, It's just left and right. Fifth, combat. I think it's Did you get the last one? <laughs> No, the last five. I, oh. I, I think I think what happens is you your score is just your longest string at the end of the run. Really? Yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, let's take a look at how he made this game. Mm. By taking a look at. Good night, Miss Command. Night, Miss Command. So. Switch over to this. 
So your ship is one of the player characters. The bricks is the mm. other player character. Gotcha. Um, and the lines. The two lines are the two missiles. Mm. Um, so he doesn't use the ball at all, which he could have used and differentiated the colors. Uh, one of those colors. Mm. Um, and he could have differentiated the color of one of the other lines as well with the player one. Oh, no, no, no. Player zero, sorry. And he used Playfield for all of the parallax scrolling sides. Mm. Um, which makes sense. Mm. Um, he could have made those move a lot smoother, uh, the uh, the barriers, rather than chunking along. Mm. But I think you'd, you'd have to see whether chunking along with the background is better mm. or to move it smoothly while the background chunks. Mm. And I, because they're out of sync at that point. Yeah. Because it's kind of like chunk, 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 chunk. Moving. One's moving smoothly and one's, like one's chunking one's in triplets and one's in quarter notes yeah yeah exactly we were having a discussion with that with darcy about learning to play the piano so. yeah so he may have tried the other way and it just like w looked weird and out of sync yeah um but yeah who's to say who's to mm -hmm. know um uh, like how did the how did um john shampoo do it in scramble and super cobra because i know he uses like the play field i think for his background as well and then he uses the player characters for all the enemies let's let's actually take a look at that Ugh. why does it keep moving screens whenever i exit out of something it's like nope i'm gonna move back to your primary screen <laughs> needs an update on stella i remember asking them about that and yeah. it's like we don't deal with multiple monitors. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's not how we build it. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so let's look at Scramble just really quick. Because I'm very interested in that. Final NTSC. Oh, so his scrolling, it's, it's all play field. See, yeah, he chunks it along too. Mm. He doesn't move them scrolly, uh, slowly, so it does make sense mm. to do it this way. Because it would be out of sync, right? See, he uses all player player characters for all these different things. Mm. With intelligent flickering. And looks wonderful. <laughs> um, so yeah, he probably did it the right way. Mm. Are you guys going to do piano teaching switch channel also? We'll leave that to Darcy. Yeah. He can do the piano teaching. You mentioned that this developer dropped three out of five games. I wonder if that means we should expect the other two on upcoming shows. Well, I'm going to um, ask him some questions for the next show mm. um, about his games and his developing process. Because nice. he talked briefly about making his games for himself and one other copy for like this bar that he went to. Oh! Because <laughs> it had 100, Atari 2600 there, and he would just put his games in the bar. Oh, and just so that people would randomly come across his, his Something games? Something like that. That's awesome. I like um, that. So I'm going to ask him a bit more about that. Yeah. And I think he got them made at Atari age, like his cartridges. Oh, I see, yeah. But he never talked about them in the forum, never posted them about them in the Facebook groups. He just made like five games last year and this year. Nice. And now he's talking about all five. Oh, Usually yeah. people aren't that secretive yeah. <laughs> to make five games yeah. and then not talk about yeah. them at all yeah um i i bet he would release the other two um mm. depending if he's happy with them but i'm pretty sure he's he's put all of them on cartridge for himself mm. already and th this version that we just played is an updated version version oh. to the cartridge one because he saw some some bugs in it mm. i mean there's still bugs you i can't play it on an actual Atari, because mm. the screen just goes nuts. It goes super flickery. You can't even see what's going on. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll find out more about him uh, in the next episode, and I'll talk more about him. Um, 
so yeah he said brooke post on facebook i usually made a game for myself and an extra copy for a local game slash pub slash restaurant type place lots of board games there but they have an atari 2600 mm. uh thing uh did it then I found out after sending a game to have a physical cartridge made that there's usually some small annoying bug, which he f fixed a bug. He didn't say which mm. bug it was. Okay. Um, and his game and his name of his. Um, let me go back to this. You can see at the bottom, Domestan. Domestan uh, is the name of his company. Mm. Domestan Games, 2019. Nice. Um, he says his, his company name is like Coleco, which was an abbreviation for the Connecticut Leather Company. Oh, nice. Co -le -co Coleco. Okay. Um, his company name of Dom Domestan is an abbreviation of doesn't mean shit to anyone. <laughs> As he explained that growing up, nobody cared about his video game program. Aww. Um, his teachers didn't encourage him. No. Didn't think that it would come to anything. Yeah, it's it's funny how there's a generation of people who are like, I just wanted to make video games and Nobody no one liked no them. one liked them. Um, some messages from Facebook that people left about his games when he posted them. Mm. Nick Bensema said, just, just think, it took over 40 years for somebody to think of using this kind of perspective in gameplay. Mm. Perfectly suited to the 2600 capabilities. Mm. I wouldn't say perfectly. <laughs> but, yeah. but suited. Horizontal yeah. scrolling on a 2600 is not its strong suit. Mm. If he changed this to vertical scrolling... I bet he could, let's see, like he could use Playfield for the sides mm. and he'd be able to do a pixel scrolling perfect. Um, ship is the ship, still player one, perfect scrolling. Um, for the lines, that's a little, a little more challenging. Um, he could do the side Playfield every second line. Mm. And then every other second line, he could have the barriers move. And it would be every second line. It would be chunky that way, but nowhere near the chunkiness of this is four. Mm. But there's some other clever way. So if he flipped it vertically, he could probably uh, make it a lot smoother. Mm. But I might be missing something. Um, because when you do the player characters um, horizontally, there are only eight Oh, okay. Eight wide, and you can do double and quad, which makes them 32. Mm. So if you do 32 across, how big would that be? Mm, not very wide. So it's not super wide. Yeah, yeah. Hmm, hmm. I have to think about that. Um, Brooke Anderson said, uh, was some arcade game, think it was Grid Seeker, Project Stormhammer, had a flying sequence over some cannon with the s canyon with the side walls having that parallax effect. Thought it was pretty slick and tried to see what an Atari could do. Uh, Jeff Haber said, actually now I think it'd be done quite nicely by ditching the playfield altogether. Brooke Anderson said, from what I remember, the missiles were used for some of the blazers, other players for the wall segments while well, we looked at it, mm. with the gap at the bottom. Originally, the bottom of the trench moved with the bands as well, as the dark lines where the lasers were not there had to cut stuff off due to cycle time per scan lines. Asymmetric playfield, no mirroring anything, cut it down. Of course, it was my second game, so there might be other ways to squeezing out more per scan line. Ashley Iron says, nice 3D effect. Are you hoping to release this through Atari Age or similar? Uh, Brooke Anders says, I just threw it out there for people to play. If someone wants to have Atari Age make a custom cart, like I ordered for personal use, I guess. <laughs> so you can go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Get Atari Age to make it. He gives you permission. Yeah. Price seems to be pretty much the same. It's just a standard F8 bank switch game. I think I mentioned it, but the only minor issue I know is sometimes pressing reset switch might make it, it might jump into the game passing the menu. Okay. Mm. Um, yep. Yeah, there we go. And before this, he did post about his games on his Facebook page his personal face personal page. yeah so it was impossible for anybody to find well it wasn't public you necessarily or him. yeah yeah like how would you find yeah, that if no. unless you knew him uh on october 15th he said physical cards for my second game came in today not a my harmony cartridge anyway went with making a more custom label than using the atari 2600 label maker online um which you can see the cartridge right there on your mm -hmm. screens 
Uh, one cartridge I plan dropping off at Binary Games if somebody wants to try out on a real Atari. Just that little bounce on their TV, screams at, TV screen at times. Oh, well. Plays fine on my old tube TV. <laughs> yeah, so you have to really play it on multiple systems to make sure it works. It works. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If anybody wants a binary image to play on an emulator or like Stellar or Z26 on their computer, whatever, let me know. If somebody wants to go as far as make a physical card like these, go ahead. Just don't sell them. So there you go. I feel like the up-down controls for depth while moving left and right might be more intuitive for a vertical scroll. Mm. Yeah. It's 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 I easier switch, to turn it like this and I play it this way. I think switching it, like if he yeah. switched it in the game, it'd be more intuitive. Even though, yeah. yes, it makes more sense to go up and down as a plane. Yeah. But that's not the way you're facing. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. It's like 90 degrees turns. It's like Qbert. You have to rotate it 45 oh, degrees. Oh, I hate Qbert. <laughs> it's not a challenging game. Not my favorite game. game. No. Eight times wide missile plus triple small spaced player one. Total length 48 for top layer. For middle, remove one duplicate copy, 40. And then one more double missile player. I guess, yeah, you could combine two at the same line. <laughs> That's very smart, yeah. Yeah, it's Kev. Hubert. Hubert. <laughs> Okay, it's time for our third game. Yay. Rally Racer, we're going to try for the patch again. Yes. Now, uh, have you absorbed and thought about your last run? Yeah, I played it a tiny bit today to remember, like, okay, dodge, okay. dodge, dodge, dodge. Right. So I'm just throwing this at you then, because I'm not going to do very well. But you, you feel okay. up to the challenge? You feel like you've learned oh. a few things along the way? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just about doing well. Yes. Getting lucky yeah. with the white car. Yeah. And just, just paying attention. Yeah. And just go, and you, getting in the zone and doing the moves. Is it correct you have to win every leg? No, no, no. Or just no, the third just leg? The leg? Just the third leg. So you just need to get through one and two, and then the third one you just need to reach that high score on the yeah. third leg. The other two legs don't matter at all? Not at all. Because there because was if a, you don't make it, it was you implied, don't make it. It was implied by someone in the chat that you had to reach that cup on all of the levels. If you don't reach the cup, it forces you to replay it. No, 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 no. There's a cup. There is there is the score above the... I've passed the level. No. There's the score no, and the cup. No. No, okay. You just have to get okay. that. I'm just checking. Yeah. You, you just yeah. have to get onto the, the podium at okay. the end. Okay. Catch your folks Friday. Off to work soon. Yes. Good night. Pack rat. Yeah. VG. Flackets. Turn your monitor 90 degrees to the left. That's one way of doing it. <laughs> yeah. I still remember there the... is one video, one Atari 2600 game where you actually have to do that. Yeah. It's called Merlin's Walls. You have to turn your well, monitor 90 it's degrees. It's funny you mention that because I remember one day at work, I wasn't paying attention. I somehow hit the hotkey to turn my screen sideways. Oh, no. And, and, and it's one of those things where it's like, I have to figure this out. I'm not calling IT because I accidentally hit the hotkey. <laughs> and everything has turned 90 degrees on my, on my work monitor. So eventually I figured it out. That's but just embarrassing. But I, I was terrified. I was like scrolling with my head to the side, trying to navigate into like the display and, and get it to, to fix. And then all of a sudden you remember, oh, I have a phone that has a computer on it and I can just ask it, how do I turn this back the right way? But so yeah, don't do that. <laughs> you have to get to race number four. Race four. Okay, what I'm gonna do mm -hmm. is use save states so we don't have to play through every time. Yeah, yeah. Is that allowed? I'm saying yes, <laughs> <laughs> but we do have to play to the third race. Yes, you first. do. First. Yep. Catch you later, Packrat. Bye, Packrat. Is this level four? Yeah. So it's actually good that I'll have practice. Yeah, no, it's good to get. This is, yeah, this is four. So yeah. you're not starting from level one. No, no, you don't. The patch is for level four. Race three. Yeah, and this is race one? Yeah. Oh. So I have to make it through these. Then I'll do a save state at the beginning of race three. Oh, the white car. It's always a white car. Yep. That's really is the thing that gets you. Because it's very erratic. Yeah. The rest of them are very predictable in their movement, aren't they? 100%. You just like float back and forth. 
kind of float. <laughs> you kind of float. They follow you and you kind of place them from one side to the other. Yes, because they stop moving at a certain point yes. on the screen. They move and stop and then you, you're kind of like placing them from side to side. And when they, the white car comes and it throws off your, your pattern. Because he starts blocking the he, middle. He, he blocks the part where you want to drive. And then it really messes everything up. You gotta get him off the screen. There should be missiles in this game. <laughs> yes, I want to shoot that white car. missiles at the white car. That is 100% what I want to do. Flamethrower could be very Mad Maxy. Ugh. Oh it is. It is. It is like a desert out there. So the first two levels oh, are see, very forgiving. <laughs> very. Oh, forgiving. the llamas. Ugh. Then the obstacles start coming in. Ugh. Good night, Oris, 1968. A name I haven't seen before. <laughs> yeah, welcome. Thanks for tuning in. Mm -hmm. And S. Ramirez, too. Everyone everyone is. is uh, like, forget this rally racer. <laughs> we don't want to see you far and get the, get the patch for rally racer. We've seen you attempt it before. Come on, you want to see the sash. You're going to stay up just for the sash. That's right. That's what I get to wear. If I get the patch, it's the sash. And then eventually a patch. Okay. Two, two, two. I don't nice. know what I got before, but it that wasn't a great run. <laughs> that was a very bad run. <laughs> and the D train. Everyone's off. Enduro esque. Yes, it is. Yes. Very enduro. Okay. Then you press reset to get to the next one. It says pi. So I'm gonna turn down the volume a little bit there and a little bit here, so you guys don't have to. It's not too blasty. Yeah. So it is quite the music. It's great. Well, that's a bit low. That's for us, though. I think. Yeah. It's 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 a pretty it's a pretty dynamic. It really Someone adds going to the nuts game. on the keyboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Manic driving music. You're gonna have to teach Darcy to play this background music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right now he's trying to play third note. Third notes, triplets with uh, quarter notes at the same time. But what? It, what That's so. Oh what? my god! I hate oh! Ah! <laughs> getting trapped behind the llama. The llama. Oh, the white car. I don't know how you uh, like the strategy for the white car is. He he seems pretty all over the place, and he pops up seemingly out of nowhere, like not necessarily at the same time in the race, and sometimes he just immediately disappears. Yeah. Sometimes short, sometimes there for a long yeah. it time. It definitely adds an element of, of ah! the unexpected. I think you're going to make it, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, Terrible. Yeah. Terrible time. Imagine driving around to this music. Well, my next commute into work, I'm going to have to just, you know... 40 minutes of this. Yeah. <laughs> I, would get, I would get to work very fast. <laughs> I'd probably get pulled over in the process. Yeah. Like, because the white car drives at a different speed of those other two cars, it kind of blocks, it completely blocks your path. Your pattern, at least, anyway. He does um, behave like the other cars. In the way that he, he pauses. He traces you, kind of? like He pauses at the same distance away from you as the other cars do. Mm. But you can't go through those two cars because he's there. Mm. Oh, good, terrible. Jeez. Sun is setting. Come it actually on. changes the, the sky uh, when the sun sets. Yeah. And the mountains. Oh, you got it. Just in time. Ah. It's not cumulative, which I find funny. No. It's like you get bonus and then you don't use that bonus for the next race at all. Mm -hmm. It's just a eh, bonus. Okay. Okay, so that's the second cup. Okay, so now you're on the one. third. And what did we figure out? So you have to hit the save state right there. Okay, so you can so, go back to the save state. So you can go right, right to the to end this. because we kept restarting it yes. when we didn't think you would make it. Which sometimes it's obvious you won't. But uh, I wonder if it would be possible to emulate hills in a racing game on the twenty six hundred. Mm. Hills. Oh, up and down. There is a programmer who makes insane games. I can't remember his name right now. He's made some racing games and some bicycling games. Yeah. 
I've never shown them on the show because it's really hard to understand what's going on on the screen. Mm -hmm. um, but he does this in his games. Where it goes like this? It goes like this. Wow. And it's he's almost got the concept. Like like uh, in the execution. The thing. execution is, yeah. is almost there. Yeah. Just and not I wish quite. he could just some, some... make that leap. Yeah. Like it's all going like crazy, but yeah. you can see what he's trying to do yeah. and it, it is actually really effective. Mm -hmm. um, like you can make hills, all it is is a line and cars disappearing and appearing. Oh, in the, and, on the horizon. And getting smaller and bigger. Yeah. And then you and can. You relative to that line mm -hmm. is the hill. If so you do it is possible. famous cities, you know, like the streets of New York, uh, streets of San Francisco, you know, like, yeah. Ah, good start. So it's I've okay. not seen practice, that in a 2600 game yeah. uh, effectively done yet. But I think the concept, you could do it. So I need to get to 240. Is it 240 or 230? No, 240, you're right. You got to 235, which was pain. 238, which was painful. White car. White car. Get out of the way. How do you get rid uh, of it? Is you, there a way? It's random. You run it into a llama or something? No, I don't think so. <laughs> the poor llama. <laughs> oh. 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 Fluffy llamas. Now oh. I want a cat. Okay. Spitting fluffy llamas. Spitting fluffy llamas. Where's the kitties? Oh. I need a spitting fluffy llamas. Speaking of spitty, fluffy llamas. Oh, I could have made it through there. They can crash. Let's see, that's the third crash. Let's try and keep track of crashes. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. Stop it! Eighth, ninth. You okay? So sorry to bother you. Ah, oh, come on. We're playing Rally Racer. Mm -hmm. Tenth? Did I count that one? Are you counting how many hits? Yeah, because that'll give me a eleventh, a good judge of like whether I'm gonna make it, because they're exact same timing. Well, I might be off though, in my count. Yeah, you didn't start right from the beginning, probably. Uh, I think I tried. So yeah, 210 is, is the pass. Yeah. But not the podium. Mm, 223 is pretty good. Yeah. Double down says it seems all very left right left right left right it is that pretty much is what it is but it's 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 not <laughs> it's not unfun even though it looks very i mean that's what a lot of the those activision games like the balloon one it's just mm -hmm. left right the skiing just left right a lot of those games yeah um mr uh, dr Mukow says my cat coleco wouldn't tolerate um, that being picked up and moved business. And I, Coleco. I know, we've got an Atari and a Coleco. Oh, um, we don't. <laughs> well, we have well, an Atari and a in, Pixel. in the audience, in the audience. Oh. Um, is he watching? <laughs> is the Coleco he's watching? Upstairs. No, yeah, maybe. Coleco. Oh, I don't know. Um, I hope he's a Coleco. I name. hope Coleco is a Calico. Oh. Because that would be perfect. Um, oh, damn it. Pixel what? is not usually this tolerant. He oh, was. Pixel. Oh my god. You didn't realize it was Pixel No, layers? I thought it was Atari because no. he was being good. No. He is not that tolerant. He is quite angry. Um, <laughs> uh, He's an angry cat. Yeah. Uh, I was surprised he stayed in my arms, but he was quite sleepy too. So uh, okay. he kind of, he'll tolerate it for a short period of time. Atari will just, just jump up and purr and doesn't mind, so. Ah, uh, Coleco is a calico. <gasps> is no, is Coleco a calico? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Class said, "Great minds think alike, and so do ours." Yes. Or as my mum always used to say, "Great minds think alike, and fools seldom differ." So. <laughs> wow, it's a very not well known saying. <laughs> no, but that was always whenever someone said, "Great minds think alike," oh, she would just okay. say, "And fools seldom differ." <laughs> 
Uh, that was a short white car. I'm doing actually okay. Yes, Kaliho is a calico. Yay. Oh, And she's confirmed. sleeping on my bed where she <gasps> spends 90% of her time. Oh, cuddle cat. Yeah, we're, we're, we're cat fans here. Oh, Pixel's back. Oh, hi. Did come back up? Didn't abandon us. Damn it, I could have made it. Do you want to? He's kind of giving hate eyes right is now. Is he it's sleepy? He's very sleepy. Okay. So is he just... on the cat cam? Come He's on. just on the cat cam. Is you he? can see his tail. Yeah. It's very contrasty, so... Yeah, he's a good he's a good camera cat. Very you photogenic. Up to? Oh, two ten, I guess. Don't look, don't look, just keep going. Push it, push it. No white car. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Yeah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my god! Uh, wow! Yay. Look at that! screen that's awesome oh, that looks beautiful pixel come here yeah celebrate, celebrate. he's, he's like, like what ah. the hell <laughs> <laughs> made it <laughs> yeah i thought i was doing really good i didn't do get a lot of hits in i think that's, i only got five or six that's hits. why when you said oh what's the score i'm like don't look at the score keep don't playing look the score. <laughs> don't, just don't concentrate just yourself just keep playing okay sash time Woo! bring on sash okay here we go It's the patch sash. <laughs> Ceremonial patch sash. Which will be filled with this new patch. <laughs> Thank you so much. I accept <laughs> this new patch on behalf of all Atari 2600 players everywhere. <laughs> uh, I will add it gracefully to my collection of other patches that I have achieved. Um, that one, I got in the second try. That's, that's Well, you came so close last time. It kind of made sense that, you know, a little bit of rest and thought and yes. you'd come back in and, and do and it. Luck. So, and luck. That was, I had one white car mm -hmm. and it was very short. Mm. Um, that is definitely, oh, Atari has joined the celebration. Yeah, woohoo. He heard the shouting and he was wondering, what is up? Is there, are there treats? <laughs> are there treats? Yeah. Yay! Wow, that's good. Because uh, I thought that was going to be quite a slog mm. to get that. 241. Just, Just snuck in there. Just snuck in. So I didn't need all of his tips. Oh. Um, <laughs> oh, Atari and okay. Pixel Cats. Yes. Yep. What is that? 50 and a face. <laughs> <laughs> Celebration face. Okay, now it's your turn. You get to play it at least once. Okay. You're going to start from a safe state? Yeah. I don't think I'm going to make 240 because I'm not very bits. good at this game. Oh, 50 bits. 50 bits. Thanks, yeah. Okay, there you go. guess 199 is the last score. Okay. Oh. I'm going to restart. <laughs> no, it's okay. okay. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, see? Just hold down the button. Yeah. I do, but that makes it worse. Don't know how you. I don't know how you find your groove in this. It's you're so good at, hey, at, hey, 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 hey. at just kind of like. <laughs> it's you go to the right. And, I know. And then... Oh, I know. I've been watching you do it, but it's <laughs> it's like uh, even even just restarting is so frustrating. It's challenging. You gotta. I'm also not my brain dodge is immediately. not the happiest right now. So. Oh, not in a mode where you can see it. You can kind of see what? it. There you go. Oh no! Sorry. Oh yeah, because you put your sash on. I was like, did you play that whole game and no one could see? <laughs> I'd have to replay it oh, my because God. it wouldn't have been recorded. That would have been terrible. You can see it from the reflection. That's least, always the way. At least we can watch the reflection in the background. <laughs> so passive aggressive. Um, so Leandro Camara emailed some tips. He said. Don't read them out if you don't need them. Oh, I, don't, don't read them out. Because I don't want other people to hear the tips. But he did... <laughs> them out for yourself. But yeah. he did say, send something that I, he did want me to read out. Okay. Um, first of all, I need to repeat that I really enjoyed the show and to see uh, you two playing Rally Racer with such dedication. <laughs> you played very well for those who have never played before and quickly realized the pattern that exists to dodge the car. Then the game became simpler after that. Yeah, yes. that's usually what happens. With Another games. thing I liked a lot that you might not have noticed was that Tanya did the full narration of each stretch throughout the run, exactly in the time you played. 
remember the first time we ever played this game? Yeah. Um, you. I read through the. Read through the diary. Yes. And it and he says it matched exactly the amount of time it took to play. Each oh play. really? Well, I I I uh, wanted to give. It. I did. I did stop and start. I yeah. wanted. I wanted to give context for each leg. Yeah. Because it it corresponds to the creatures that you see and the landscape oh, yes. and the mountains. No, there's a lot of detail that they've put into this oh, game. Huge amount of backstory. I'm not not passing this this leg. Um, <laughs> Um, another, th uh, that is, she was narrating the pilot's diary, the daily notes of the race that yes. are in the leather-bound book. Yes. That is the dr driver's racing diary. This was a surprise for me and my wife, who did most of the text. Oh, did she? <laughs> As we had not imagined someone playing a rally and somebody else narrating the facts <laughs> that were happening at the same time. Nice. Uh... Oh. No, it's, oh, do you have to? There you go. You just play till I read this out. Yeah, I'm fine. Um, it was incredible. <laughs> Consciously or not, the race took on average the same time as Tanya's narration <laughs> stretch. It was really interesting. It was not in my plans to see that, and I was very happy. Oh, that's so nice. Because it is true. It is an exact timing because the moon Clearly goes I down. I was not playing because it would have taken three times. No, it takes the exact same amount of time. The moon goes down and That is true. Over. That is true. It is the same timing. One thing I regretted was the podium scenes didn't appear after the third cup at the end of the third stretch on each stage. You're just a few miles away from reaching that screen, which we Yes, which we got finally, finally but yeah. Because yeah. it is hard to get the podium yeah. score. It is a big challenge. Because it's the hardest leg, and you have to get this this special score. To, special, not, not just finish it, but, but the, the special, special score. Yeah, yeah. like be, basically be ahead of everyone else is, I suppose, the concept. Um... What? It never seen this before. What happened? Time machine? The t 30 meters bonus? Did you catch him? What is that thing? What happened? Is that <laughs> what white, just happened? Is that white car a time machine? Is it the DeLorean? Because that's the white car. Yeah. What did I do? 1955 to 1985. 1985? Isn't that, that is Back to the Future. It blinked. I'm not <laughs> Dr. Sure Mook has, I'm not sure what happened. I'll have to watch that back later if um, i hit the button is it gonna come off the screen yeah you'll probably continue on and it's just telling you oh go 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 what happened my machine bonus yeah you did somehow get... hit the white car did i get time did i get extra time because i was not doing well, not extra not... time you got boosted 30 meters 30 meters that's a lot how did I do that? Did I smack him? Okay, now we got to figure out what this white did car I does. Did I squish him between like a llama and a and a cactus or? So I've hit that white car a lot. Oh. And I've never gotten that bonus. So you just have to be an extremely bad player, <laughs> and that's well, there when. It is. That's when these. Uh, hit it. These. I don't know. No, it's not about hitting him. Maybe I smushed him between something and something. Oh, maybe. Oh, it's certainly not helping me. Maybe it's like Spy Hunter and you have to push him off the road. That's what I mean. Like from the side. Oh, I'm not trying. I'm not... Okay. Well, you can try after. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> um, oh, come on. You're just a few miles away from reaching that screen. It would be a really beautiful screen to appear on the show. Scene to appear on the show. But I understood the game, really, the first time you played is very challenging. Yeah. Then it becomes easier. Then it's really a pattern, as you quickly realized. And after that, you played very well. Yeah. Tanya also did well on stage four after she saw you playing in the other scenarios, although yeah. she ran over a llama. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it happens. Not doing so well now. Maybe you hit it right at 55. Oh, oh maybe. Oh. We're going to we're gonna have to go to the oh, replay. Oh, yeah. 55 miles. Yeah. And it goes to 85. Maybe. 1955. To, ooh, there was like some little... Oh, maybe. Some Back to the Future reference. Man. Yep. That could be it. I, I really like that you two didn't give up easily and went on with the races. It was really fun. Yeah, we don't give up. No. Until we get the patch. It may take days. <laughs> or until we, we get really, really angry and frustrated. <laughs> yes. That's why I'm wearing the Rage Reset shirt. I forgot to change into my um, Rally Racer shirt. Oh, you, were you going to? Yeah. But oh. I'll just show it anyway. Yeah. Just show play. the shirt. The shirt's cool. Here. Ah, 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 the Rally ah. Racer shirt. I don't think you get this when you buy the game. You can buy it separately, though. There you go. 
Oh, my spider fighter fell out. The opening is on the wrong side of this. The opening's on the down. On the sash? Yep. Like, the opening's on the bottom, so they fall out. The opening? Than, what yeah. do you mean? Oh, yeah, it should have been on the other side. Yeah. So um, for sash number two. For sash two. Did you get it again? How, how did I do that again? Did I hit it? I just continually hit it, so <laughs> probably at some point it hits 55. So we'll look when you go back what number you're at, but I think it was much higher. That was, was right at 55 again. Okay, so oh, someone was paying attention. So it appears at 55. And you get an extra 30 meters. Well, that makes that easier. That There was no white car at that time? Oh, but you were right at 55. I don't, don't think you think hit, you hit anything, anything specific. specific. What the hell's going on then? <laughs> Maybe because I'm doing so poorly. Okay. Yeah, then it goes to 85. Do you have to hit a car? You have to be at high speed at 80 at 55? No, but you're always at high speed. You are. I'm always at high speed, so it's not it's not that. I thought there was a white car, but I don't know. I don't remember. They're saying there wasn't a white car. Yeah, they would know better than I because I'm just dodging. I, I was reading, so yeah. I don't know. But that's a picture of the it's DeLorean, to, yeah. and the white car looks like the DeLorean. Yeah, like, I look at it. I would have thought maybe it was sort of just off screen or something. Uh, hmm. Okay. We will we will we'll we will watch the video and and. Well, we'll play it again, or I'll play it again after this, and no, look at what happens at fifty-five. It's only me. Only it only happens for you. Yeah. Uh, well, if you want to play more, not necessarily in the show, I'll give you some tips on how the game works. Although it is already written and translated in the user's guide manual. Just uh, just as you will find there, all the text translated from the material that comes with the cartridge. Maybe some English mistakes. By the way, you translated the card with the drawing of the 2600 very well. It was going well. And then he gives a ton of tips, which I will not say. Um, if you're going to play, tell me about the experience later, if possible. Although I'd love to see you playing again the show, you, Tanya, Erlen, and Darcy. <laughs> it would be interesting if you want something like a patch for the four of you to play at the end of the show. Ooh. We can think of something like I can send a gift to the winner, or the winner to donate amongst users who maintain or support the show. You could print the score sheet on the site as to not write, write direct, directly in the material that comes with the cartridge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will never do that. Okay. You want to share? Um... You're reading. I can do it again. I, yep. I die fairly quickly, so. Yeah, finish lines at 240. Bonus stretch. Bonus on stretch three is a plus 30 miles an hour score. Yeah, so, that's me. Yeah. But how do you get that? The well, there's bonus? A, there's a bonus on every stage stretch three, on every stage. Oh, really? I don't remember you getting the bonus. Never, never. Especially not with that screen. Ne that never popped up. So let's watch what happens at 55 here. Well, if anything does. Of course, now that you're watching, it's it not going to happen. happen. No. no that's... But at least we have it recorded so we can see it later. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm barely moving most of the time, <laughs> so maybe the idea is you stop Smack moving at 55 and it'll jump you jump you forward. But Maybe. It's uh... coming up. Oh, 46, 47, 48, 50, 51. It's gone. Here's 55. How do you get it? You stop. You, I hit something. It wasn't the white car. I No, sure. I hit a red uh, red rock. Like a red... Oh, maybe you hit something at 55? I hit it at 55. You want to try? Yeah. Oh. There. Hi, Pixel. How come I never oh. hit anything at 55? That seems... Come on, dear. Oh. What's happening? Can you see him? Oh, you can see his fluffy tail. Maybe I was in a spot where there wasn't a white car Should and I was I able to manage. Turn the lights back on? I'm sure. That's it's down. Good. It's not up. It's very counterintuitive. Thirty four. Fifty. One, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five. You have to hit the red. I bet you have to hit the red rock. There was no 55. red rock. No, there was. You passed it. It was the llama at fifty-five. Mm. Can I turn I'll this other light on? Yep. Yeah. There we go. Nice. 
missed 55s early. Ugh. I hit a red, whatever that is, rock or... The time we saw what happened, yeah. When I did it, yeah. So I'm going to slow down at 55 and see what's... Or at 54 and just kind of crawl. Crawl from 1, 6, 0. <laughs> Spammers. Nobody calls this late. 48. 39. Yeah, the white car's not at 50. See, there's 54. The rock. Oh, at the rock is at 55. Missed it. That's what I hit. I'm going to need to the left then. Yes, the only 10 it can do it theory is still valid. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's holding so far. <laughs> and only do it accidentally too. I'm deliberately trying to do it and I can't do it. Mm. Oh my god. Oh, stop it. Let's try and get there with some speed. Because that would just make it so much easier to get to the podium. Like, infinitely easier, right? 30 well, extra? 30 gives you a fair chunk. Okay, 48. Okay, that was 54. Hit the llama. There, I hit it. I hit it again. Keep going? No. Nope. I hit that. I hit five things. <laughs> hit the car a bunch of times. There, I hit the car again. Yeah, only Tanya can do it. So what almost. the hell is <laughs> ha what, what is happening? I hit everything. I don't know, that's so How funny. How do you get the bonus? <laughs> Do you have to be going at speed to hit it? Like at Maybe, but I'm certainly not going at speed. I just continually hit things. <laughs> uh, one more. I'm going to take this. <laughs> oh. okay. And I'll smack it at speed this time. I'll stay on the left-hand side. When, tell me when I'm close. Yeah, I'll tell you when you hit 50, and I'll count it down. How about that? Yeah. yeah look at him cruise through them. It's just a pattern. Glide. I know, you just have to get the pattern right. It takes a while to get back into it for me, though. 40. 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. No. <laughs> I have no idea. Is you got oh, there sooner than Tanya. She, she hit more things in general. <laughs> But it could be the timing of where the moon was. It could It could be. have been like, oh, you need an extra 30 meters because you're not doing very well. So that's, that's that's possible. That's what happens in Marble Madness. It's like, you're kind of sucking. Here's some bonus time. Yeah. But if you do it fast, you don't get that bonus time. Yeah. Marble Madness is so <laughs> condescending. <laughs> yes. It's like, oh. It's like, you're... we're a hard game and you suck. So here's some extra time. Okay, let's try that theory out. Let's try that theory out. Let's, let's hit everything. <laughs> Play like Tanya. Hit everything along the way. <laughs> so, in essence, you don't actually want to get that because that means you're so well, far behind, it's taking it's, it's, pity on it's you. It's taking pity on you and it's jumping you forward. That's a possibility. I'm going to hit everything. <laughs> Every obstacle. <laughs> Pretty much that's how I play. I guess I can't do too bad because it'd be torturous to watch. Just hit the odd thing. Oops. Oops. I'm, I'm just amazed how you find Oops. that pattern so fast. It takes me a while to like get in the groove and then the moment I hit something, everything, the cars are going at me at the wrong, <laughs> you know, like I can't get them back into that pattern. That is something that you have to get learn is, is the starting yeah. too. Yeah. Like where the cars are and what to where, where to start? Yeah. We're at 40. 42. Smack no, that's, smack that's pretty much how I play. Smack smack. <laughs> um, 45. 46. The DeLorean bonus. Come on. The white car appears at the same time each time. And he disappears before the 55, I know. Okay, 50. You're at 50. He disappears around there. Yep. 52. 50. Three, you're really going really slow now. Yeah. I Fifty-four, make... fifty-five is coming up. Nope. 
What is happening? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. That's a mystery. It requires a magic touch. <laughs> I got it three times in a row, too. Hand it back to Tanya. She'll show you. <laughs> if you get it on your first try. I don't. I doubt it's going to work. Just play normally. Just. I know. I don't think play about it. Play normally. I never. I never. I'm going to see if it's in his tips. I'm not going to tell you how it works. Should I? I'll tell you. Is that because it's going to no, be No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. People can figure it out on their own. But we can't. And we're, you're able to do it. And you we can't can look it, it up, out. but I'm saying don't tell everyone. People can, oh, okay. can figure that out on their own. See, look at my play style. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. You're trying, right? Of course I'm trying. <laughs> okay. How? What kind of comment is that? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. Anything about that 55 bonus? How do I search in this? Oh, <laughs> this is so bad. It's the, it's the side bits that get me. The Sorry. llamas along the way. <laughs> the llamas. <laughs> Poor uh, llamas. Yeah. Uh, la salle de <sighs> Time to write the developer and find out. Oh, he says he'll be watching. No, I passed it. I passed oh. it. Oh. So okay. I don't know. I don't know what magical know thing it. I did. I definitely hit something at the right time. But maybe it really is the timing of what you hit and when. It could be. There's just one line. It says each rally stage has a bonus. You just you you That's, find the bonus as, I, as you go along. Yeah. Hmm. Nope. The full length of this game is 27 mm. minutes. Good lord. The full length of the entire full game. Full rally. No, full length of each... Yeah, rally. Each, each the, the stretch whole. is 2 minutes 15 seconds. Yeah, that makes sense. Each round oh. is 6 minutes 45 and full rally is 27 minutes. Okay. That's terrible. I was doing... When we were playing before, I was doing much better. I'm just totally out of the groove of it. But this is a pretty high stage. Oh, this is the highest. Yeah. The hardest stage. Yeah. Because we were playing at lower stages and it wasn't quite so chaotic. Dr. Oh, Mookhouse goes, no! I know! I don't know how! That would have been so funny. If you did it every time, we yeah. still can figure it oh, out. Oh, but I, it never happened before and then I did it three times in a row. <laughs> yes. Which is always the way it goes. It's like, I don't understand. Like, the, only what thing, am I... the only thing we know is it happens at 55. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's it. And I can't do it and I've never done it. <laughs> <laughs> and I played it. I played it dozens of times. Yeah, you've Last never show. seen that, but yeah, dozens over and over, and you never got it. No, that's weird. <laughs> We're gonna have to look very specifically at the footage and see yep. if there's something obvious. But uh, hmm. something about fifty-five and eighty-five lining up, maybe. I don't know. There's only one number on the screen, though. Yep, only one number. Yeah, uh, it could be the timing. Of where the moon is yeah. when you hit 55. Well, well, we'll look at the video yeah. and see. Yeah. Try and determine it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I got the patch. Yay! Yay! So I'll post my score on their mm -hmm. thread. Mm -hmm. And uh, they still haven't really said much about... They haven't posted what the patch is. Mm. Um, they did say you have to get on the podium to get the patch. Yes. And it's going to be running till December... I think. Okay, cool. Uh, December 6th, if not Christmas. They may extend it if not enough people get it, I think. Yeah. Um, but I haven't looked at the thread in a while, so I'm not sure how many people have got the patch. It was about 10. Cool. Because it's not impossible. No, like if you're it's good not. at this you game, need to practice it, but yeah. You do need to practice it, yeah. but if you're good at this game, it's not unobtainable. No, no. Yeah. Uh, there are some Activision games that I pretty far from getting. Yeah. Pressure cooker is one of them. Yeah, it's pretty tough. Oh, speaking of, forgot about the poll. Oh, yeah. Um, so let's check out the poll. And We've got our cats see. here. Got the cats. What, what what game Atari do you think James should play? Oh, he's he's down. Where is the poll? Come on, come back. Kitties. Come here. There it is. It's Grand Prix, a racing game. Um, so we'll be playing Grand Prix, nice. and that's the one I added in. 
they definitely do not want me playing those other games. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see if, if, after I win Grand Prix or, what, or do came, the next What poll. came second to it? Um, Grand Prix came in first with 36.4. Yeah. And then a tie with Dolphin and Plaque Attack. Okay, so one of those might be next. Might be next, yeah. Fighting. Cats are fighting. Oh, I can see it in the corner. Yeah. Fight! Fight! <laughs> <laughs> Fight! Oh. No, they're done. No, no, they're they're posturing. <laughs> um, and then Pressure Cooker came in fourth, and nobody wants to see Dragster. One, Dragster is hard. Mm. And two... Dragster takes six seconds. <laughs> it's just over it's and like, over and yeah, over yeah. and over and over really and over fast. and over and over really yeah. fast. Yeah, uh, gotcha. I missed this poll, but I would have chosen Grand Prix also. Okay, okay. Uh, Grand Prix is very fast as well. It's a thirty-second game. Um, it's very much like barnstorming, mm. um, where there's cars you have to dodge kind of? through. Okay, there's oil slicks and there's cars you have to dodge through. And the, the really long cars. They're like, and I think David Crane wrote it. No, David Crane wrote Dragster. Mm. I'll look, I'll have all the details. Yeah. Next show. Excellent. Um, so that'll be on Friday. I'll okay. be playing that. Good. I'll be looking with at, me. I th yeah, because yeah. Darcy, Darcy was here was on last, week. last Friday. Excellent. Yep. Excellent. Cats. Games are dumb. Treats, Treats and scritches are awesome. Yes. Yes. That is definitely what they're thinking. Yeah. Um, so thanks everybody for hanging out today. Mm -hmm. Let's see who was chatting as of late in the chat. Uh, Metal Lunar Seven, Doctor Mookows, Dan AVC, Captain Classic. Uh, it's Cav Seventy Three, Double Down Zero Six Six One. That's a new name. Yes. Thank you for watching. Flackets, Oris Nineteen Sixty Eight, another new name. Excellent. Thank you for checking out the show. Uh, who else? Miss Command. Mm, yeah. D train. D train 37. Nathan Strum. Alna Fur. Pack Rat VG. Daryl 1970. Thank you once again for yes. making the incredible Popeye, which everybody will be able so to enjoy cool. very it looks soon. Looks so good. Yeah. Yep. Looks so good. S. Ramirez 2008. Oh. Uh, Agent Salad 117, who said hello. hello. There. <laughs> and I think that's all they said. Well, hello back. That's all right. Uh, and MK Smith. MK Smith. You see right at the top? Yeah, right at the Excellent. top. Excellent. At the back it. of the scroll. Well, thank you, Dan, for saying good show. And uh, we've got some games lined up for the next show already. Um, like I said, we have two of those other games mm -hmm. from. Uh, that developer that was just recently discovered, or he made Excellent. himself known. Yes. Uh, so we're going to be playing Blip Skip Ball, which is really fun. Digits, which is kind of a puzzle game, and mm -hmm. I think you'd really en you'll really enjoy it. I do it. like the puzzle games. And we will be playing Cave Rescue, which is the, an exclusive final release of that game. Oh. Which is going to be coming out on cartridge soon. Nice. So we get to take a look at the final version of it. So. Nice. Good Very stuff. excellent. And the to be determined will turn into uh, Grand Prix. Ah, oh, um, gotcha. So we'll have our full roster for okay. next uh, well, for Friday. Good. And then on the Tuesday, we'll be uh, taking a look at a game called I Project, which somebody suggested to play because they thought it looked a little bit like Trench. But then I looked at it as like, no, it's not. Not doesn't have the parallax, but it's similar-ish. Mm. Um, and then we have the developer spotlight on John Shampo coming up November 27th. That's cool. That's going to be coming a lot of fun. Coming up fast too, yeah. Yeah, that's at the end of the month. Um, so I got to get prepared with some good questions good. for John Shampo. Good stuff. And get all his games lined up, ready to go. I've got all the ones on cartridge up there. We have a very special episode coming on a Sunday at some point, soonish. Mm -hmm. Don't know when. Things have to fall in. Place, into place first yeah um but i expect as soon as i know some of those things falling into place i'll be able to announce it it's very exciting yeah everybody will love it and um you will want to watch it um it's a festive festivus miracle excellent it is <laughs> and uh we have the holiday homebrew special coming up in december nice and i've got some games mean santa vcs dreidel bite bright bite before christmas cold war and whatever else games that I come across 
if you know some uh, holiday games we haven't played because mm, we've that's... had multiple Christmases. <laughs> Two well, other ones before we've had holiday specials. So yes, just check in the but list. I don't mind going back to play some of the favorites. Yep, if we're a little um, light, we can go back and. What's the painting one? Oh, you like that one? I the love Elf that one. Painting toy shop trouble. Yes, toy shop trouble. I like that game a lot. So that's so there, a are couple, there are a couple of there are a couple of them. Do some repeats. Or, or yeah. even around Christmas. Like, you, we can have oh, a show of new in. ones, and then we can throw a couple of, of Christmassy themed ones yeah. in. That would be fun. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, we'll probably do a tour of my 7800 collection next episode. Okay. Um, I think that'll be fun since yes. we're getting into more 7800 games. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to be introducing a bunch more 7800 games into the mix mm. here as we go along. Because mm. literally, we're running out of 2600 <laughs> archive games. Yeah. Like, once in a while, I pop up, find one that's like, oh, that's really good. Yeah, you haven't seen it. Um, yeah. Oh, my God. It's getting slim pickings after yeah. two and a half years of this show. Yeah. Playing four, three or four old games twice a week. Yeah. So eight games a week. Yeah. You go through them quick. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to be uh, adding in 7,800 games, new and old, homebrew. Okay. Um, so that'll be a lot of fun. Cool. Um, and I'm looking forward to getting a modded like i said yes 7800 and an sd cartridge so we can play them properly um and then of course the third annual atari homebrew awards presentation very nice check this out <laughs> actually i can show the big version of it um i'll be taking pictures of this soon so that i can do a proper uh photo shoot of it mm -hmm. looks very nice i yes i make my own award <laughs> but damn it i deserve it no because if i gave them all away i'd, I'd have nothing nothing to, to show for it That's and true. it's like oh what did it look like yeah. it's like oh i have to make a minimum anyway yeah um we're well past the minimum now because we've expanded the awards mm. nice yes um and eight bitch po eight bit Polish games on XEGS. Yeah, we're going to be doing an 8-bit day. Nice. Um, which we'll also start introducing maybe some 8-bit games into the mix as well. Yeah. Um, I would like to get that RGB modded, um, the XEGS. Right now it's yeah. composite, so it's okay. It looks fine. Yeah, it's, but, it's fine for streaming, I guess. But yeah, yeah, but I'd like to upgrade it. And there is an RGB mod. See, they're all yeah, but you, gravity. You, you, if you've put it on your other shoulder, you flip instead oh. of... Then, then they don't fall out. Well, why am I wearing it on this shoulder? I don't know. I just threw it on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. No? I think. No, you can't do it that way. No, it's all wonky. You can't. Yeah, I'm not saying it's right. <laughs> oh, I see. I, 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 I can um, repin it, but then this is up instead of down. Oh, can you yeah. fix that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's how it should be. Yeah, I don't know how it got that way, but at some point... There, it's all fixed. There we go. That's seems better. weird, but... Does it? Uh, maybe it's just... I, I, I don't... It was meant to be on the other shoulder. Oh. Okay. But if... Oh, no, you're right. Yeah, it doesn't look good. No, yeah. it's all weird. That's okay. It just... Um, yeah, I put the hole oh. on the wrong side, but that's okay. Uh, tails count. Live and learn. Tails. Hi. Live and learn. Hi. Hi. Cute. That's um so yeah so we got all that the third annual atari homebrew awards presentation is on february 6th mark your calendars that is a saturday make sure you're doing nothing it's very far in the future so make sure you book that day off from work <laughs> or watch it at work if they allow it if they allow it we gather, don't want gather the get, whole store we around. don't want anyone getting in trouble along the way so so is this good now yeah oh, no okay. no no it's, it's it's still backwards yeah but you know you mm. live and you learn. Um, oh, you're here for the end? Yeah, that's okay. Put it back on? Yeah. Okay. So is it still going to be kind of... We've well, got it on backwards, but that's okay. I guess. We've got it on backwards. Yeah, that side. Oh, sorry. That side. <laughs> that shoulder. There you go. What? That shoulder. Oh. oh. It's weird. Get, get, get it over your shoulder. There you go. <laughs> Oh, it's backwards. You put it back to the backwards way. What do you mean? What it is... has to be on that side. Oh, okay. You don't have a choice. Uh, opening musical number for Atari Homebrew Awards is Neil Patrick Harris. <laughs> We've well, got we'll Pixel see. available. Oh, are you going to tap dance for us? He can put on a bow tie. Boop, He's boop, already boop. got his tux put on. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. 
There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Don't run away. Yeah. <laughs> James putting on his sash is similar to trying to find the 55, 55 bonus. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what about this? Working. What if I hit it here? What if I slow down first? <laughs> Um, and we'll be playing all the uh, nominated games before that, mm. in the weeks prior to that. Um. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to fall out. It'll fall out anyway. No, um, and I think Dan Kitchen has posted recently on an update that he still plans to get his game out before Christmas. Mm. So we'll be playing uh, his game Gold Rush at some point. Mm. Hopefully, we'll see. We'll see if he gets uh, stays on plan for that. And so that'll be a lot of fun. Um, and other things that have not been announced. Lots of special things. And I'd like to add more li people live coming in talking about their games. Like just casually. Yeah. Like, oh, here's their new game. Easygoing chats and play games. Bring them games. in for yeah. a little bit and they can talk about their game. Mm -hmm. And uh, and just make it easy. So because once I think once we've done uh, John Shampoo's mm. and make sure that it all works and it's fine, we can have it e very easily set up like that and mm. just just do it. Yeah. And just go. Hey, you want to be on the show and talk about your game? Yeah. Rather than the typing. Yeah. Because yeah. then people can ask the questions. Yeah. No, live. that's nice. Yeah. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so thanks for hanging out. That's enough delaying. And uh, we'll see you next time on Zero Page Homebrew. Bye, everyone. Bye. Have bye -bye. a good night. Have a good night.